Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Pirates, they want to catch a kainu at the beginning. Chapter 1. West Sea. Flower Huludao. Khan was sitting on the beach, flipping through the somewhat transparent book in his hands with some depression. Khan is from Earth. Three days ago, I traveled to the world of One Piece. As a standard for time travelers, he received a Book of Sins. The function of the Book of Sin is to imprison the prisoner and gain some sin points. The effect of guilt value. It can double his cultivation speed. One point of guilt. Can double the training speed for one minute. Two point of guilt. It can double the cultivation speed for one minute, or double the cultivation speed for two minutes, and can be superimposed to a maximum of ten times the cultivation speed for one minute. Get this book of sin. Khan was originally very excited. But he soon became depressed. Because his body is too weak, even ordinary people cannot defeat him. I want to arrest people and make them guilty. That's impossible. These three days. He visited the village where he lived for three days and found that the villagers in the village had more or less sin points, ranging from 1 or 2 points to 18 points at the most. If these villagers are captured, he can get at least 4 to 500 sin points. But, what made him helpless was. He must knock others unconscious before he can imprison them with the book of sin to absorb their sin points. And those villagers. How could he be knocked unconscious? So it's hard for him to get their sin points. Last night, he mustered up the courage to sneak attack a villager with whom he had a good relationship with a stick. In the end, he was defeated and was taught a lesson by the villager. His left eye socket is still black now. Think about it. He felt very miserable. On the coast, he flipped through the empty pages of the book and sighed helplessly, wondering why God didn't give him an invincible system. What kind of book is this? It is really difficult to help him become invincible quickly. Well. Annoying. Khan put away the book of sin. Pick up the stones on the ground and throw them into the sea. Smashing. Smashing. He suddenly saw a navy warship in front of him, sailing over. Warship. Khan was stunned. My mind kept churning. Correct. I'm going to join the navy and throw all the criminals caught by the navy into my book of sins. Then his sin points will increase one after another. When the time comes, I will dominate the sea and defeat the four emperors and the three navy generals just around the corner. Think about it this way. Khan suddenly became excited. He looked at the navy ship in the distance as if looking at a pile of treasure. Then, he stood up and ran away. Run towards the island's port. Zucchini Island. Just a small island. There is only one village on the island, and naturally there is only one port. It took him ten minutes to run to the village port right at the port, watching the navy ship coming expectantly. Ten minutes later, navy ship near the coast. Khan frowned slightly when he saw the appearance of the warship clearly. The sails of the warship were somewhat damaged, and the hull was also somewhat damaged. Look, the warship has been through battle. He remembered that there were so many pirates in the West Sea. The navy on this ship had been killed and the ship had been robbed by those murderous pirates. He is in the village. Everyone has heard of pirate ships disguising themselves as navy ships and sneaking attacks on islands. Think for a while. Khan decided to hide first. Let's see who gets off the boat first. He finally managed to travel through time like this, but he didn't want to die in an unknown way. Near the port, there is a small forest. He ran into the woods, hiding and peeking at the harbor. Ten minutes later, the warship approaches. People on the boat got off the boat one after another. Look at their clothes, they are all navy clothes. But, it's also possible that the pirates were wearing navy clothes. And so, still need to continue to observe. After watching it for a while, Khan's eyes suddenly lit up. On the deck and bow of the warship, a man wearing the clothes of a naval admiral appeared. That was someone he was familiar with. One piece. Khan has watched it several times on Earth. The admiral who came off the warship was Admiral Akainu. But, Akainu is a bit young now. The clothes look like those of a lieutenant general. It is estimated that Akainu has not been promoted to general yet, and is still only a lieutenant general. Since it is Akainu, then it can't be a pirate pretending to be a pirate. He stopped hiding and ran from the woods to the port. The navy was resting in the port, repairing ships, and cooking meals. Khan approaches. There were two navy soldiers standing in front of him. Possess the Book of Sin. 
Khan can see the sinfulness of humans or animals. After he approached the port, he looked at the heads of the navy's heads. Some had more than 200 sin points, while many had more than sin points. Especially Akainu's head had a little sin value, which made Khan very excited. If he can absorb the sin points of these people, then he will definitely take off. Then he will be able to become a lieutenant general as long as he finds a place to practice for a few years. But, I can only think about this now. If you anger Akainu and the others, your life may be lost. Boy, are you okay? The two marines blocked Khan and said something rude. Khan came back to his senses, looked at the two of them and said, I am Khan, a resident of this island. I seem to have seen Lieutenant General Akainu just now. I want to see him. The navy blocking the way looked at Khan and said, Do you have anything to do with our Lieutenant General? Khan's chest puffed up. I have heard a lot about Akainu-sama's heroic deeds. I want to join the navy and follow Akainu-sama to exterminate pirates. When the two navy officers heard this, they immediately laughed, and one of them waved his hand towards Khan. Our navy recruits people through strict screening. If you admire our lieutenant general, we can't let you join. When Khan heard this, he looked at the two of them dissatisfied. You are not Lord Akainu, why should you refuse me? I will ask Lord Akainu myself. Ha ha, ha ha. One of the marines smiled and was about to reject Khan. The other marine opened his mouth and said to Khan first, Boy, you can see Akainu-sama. If you can stop me. Move, I will make an exception and help you rule Lieutenant General Akainu. What do you think? Khan was speechless. He's just a weakling. If you can't even defeat an ordinary villager, how can you defeat the elite navy? Someone who can hang out with Akainu. At least he must have the strength of a non-commissioned officer. Khan thought about it secretly and became a little anxious. For him, meeting Akainu might be his best opportunity at this stage. If missed, it is rare to encounter such an opportunity in a short period of time. This opportunity, absolutely not to be missed. In Khan's head, after spinning at a very fast speed, he thought of the power of the Book of Sin, and looked at the navy proudly and said, I am a devil fruit user, Akainu-sama will definitely accept me into the navy. Devil fruit user. The two marines were stunned and looked at Khan in surprise. They didn't expect that in such a small place, someone would actually know about devil fruits. And, there is also a devil fruit user. Devil fruit users. No matter how rubbish the ability is, it will give people special abilities, and the navy will also recruit these devil fruit ability users to serve the navy. Since Karn has a devil fruit, if he joins the navy, that's not something the two ordinary navies can decide. So the two of them looked at each other, and one of them looked at Khan and said, Then you wait here, I will talk to the lieutenant general. Khan nodded. Stand there and wait. Warship. Deck bow. The sailor who was talking to Khan ran up to Akainu and saluted respectfully. Lieutenant general, there is a young man named Khan on this island who met you, lieutenant general, and said that he admires lieutenant general very much and wants to join you. Our navy. Akainu frowned. I was just trying to teach Hai Bing a lesson, not to cause trouble for him. The marine soldier said again, that boy said he is a devil fruit user. We can't make decisions without authorization. Lieutenant General, please go take a look. Devil fruit user. Hear this. Akainu's expression softened a little. He looked in the direction of Khan and said, are you a devil fruit user? I'll go over and have a look. The marine nodded. He led Akainu off the boat. Walked all the way to Khan. Akainu looked at Khan, who was looking at him with bright eyes, and nodded slightly in his mind, thinking that this kid should be his fan. Otherwise, the expression will not be so excited. Since he is his fan, if he is really a devil fruit user, then just accept him. After all, he is his fan and he has to take care of him. Akainu thought to himself for a while, then looked at Khan calmly and said, I heard that you are a devil fruit user. What is your ability? Can you show it to me? Khan at this moment. Very excited. He looked at the sin points above Akainu and really wanted to knock Akainu unconscious with a stick and imprison him, collecting all his sin points into his hands. But, he could only think about it in his heart. Now Akainu can kill him with just one of his toes. He suppressed his excitement, saluted Akainu and said, Lord Akainu, I got my devil fruit ability three days ago. I don't know what fruit it is yet. All I can do now is seal a person away. Quote dot. 
Akainu was stunned and looked at Khan in surprise. You just got the ability of the Devil Fruit and you knew you were a Devil Fruit user. Have you ever seen a Devil Fruit user? Khan's face straightened. He looked at Akainu and said seriously. I have always admired Akainu-sama. I often read news about you in the newspaper, and I knew that you are a Devil Fruit user, so I just got to know Devil Fruits a little bit, and I know the magic of Devil Fruits. Three days ago, when I was playing on the coast, a black pineapple fruit floated up. I thought it might be a devil fruit, so I picked it up and ate it. After I ate the devil fruit, I have been researching how to use it recently. Once I finish the research, I will go to sea and join the navy. I will work next to Akainu-sama from now on. I didn't expect that I would be so lucky. I met you, Akainu-sama, today. I couldn't help but run over and want to join Akainu-sama. Akainu listened. Nod slightly. There is nothing wrong with what Khan said. Just go to the island and ask, you can confirm the authenticity. He glanced at Khan, thought for a while and said to Khan, show me your ability and let me see. Khan was a little embarrassed. He looked at the navy around him and said hesitantly, Lord Akainu, my ability has just been developed. Now I can only let some unconscious people or animals in. There are no such people here. Akainu frowned slightly, thought for a moment and said to the sailor beside him, go to the ship and bring the pirate we captured, and let him try his ability. After receiving the order, the sailors immediately turned around and returned to the ship. And Khan. I suddenly became excited. Akainu is such a good person, he actually sent pirates to him. A pirate. He must be evil doing. There must be a lot of sin value, and he could make a lot of money. Think about it. He had to be excited. Akainu was excited to see Khan. I think he is quite a fan. If he can really seal people away, he can be included in the navy. They went out to catch pirates. Sometimes escorting pirates can be a hassle. If Khan's ability can seal the strength of pirates, then this ability is quite useful, at least it is a useful ability for transporting pirates. In Khan's excitement, Akainu was thinking. Two sailors pulled an injured pirate and came to Khan. The sin value is 2,863 points. Khan became even more excited when he saw the pirates being brought. In Khan's excitement, Akainu knocked out the pirate brought by the navy with one fist, and then said to Khan, try your ability. Khan is welcome. He trotted up to the unconscious pirate, knelt down and put his hands on the pirate. Three seconds later, the pirate's body disappeared. Akainu glanced at Khan in surprise and asked, this is the seal you mentioned. Where did that pirate go? Can he be released? Khan stood up and saluted Akainu. Lord Akainu, I have sealed that pirate in a different space. He cannot move and will not be thirsty or hungry. There is no problem in letting him out, but he needs to wait half an hour before he can be released. Come out. Can't move. No need to eat or drink. This ability is quite good. Very suitable for escorting prisoners. Akainu thought for a while looked at Khan and said, yes, your ability is quite useful. I will make an exception this time and let you join my team. And one more thing. It's your sealing ability. How many people can you seal? Khan suddenly became excited, thinking of the sin points pouring into him crazily. Think about it. He got excited. So he couldn't wait to salute Akainu and said loudly, thank you, sir. My sealing ability can now seal 72 people, and there may be more in the future. Akainu looked at the excited Khan. I am quite satisfied with myself as a fan. He waved to Khan and said, Okay, you go home and say goodbye to your family first. We are going to rest here for three hours. You can come back in three hours. Thank you, sir, I'll be back in an hour. After Khan thanked Akainu, he turned around and ran back quickly in the direction of the village. Follow Akainu. You still have to bring the little money you have at home. As for his parents, he is an orphan and has seen his parents since he was a child. Akainu watched Khan run away. After Khan ran a certain distance, he looked at a general next to him and said, Ma, follow that kid to the island and ask him if he is an island. People on top. Ma nodded. Walked towards the village. Although Akainu appreciates his little fans. But the procedures that need to be followed still need to be followed, otherwise it would be a big shame for him to bring a spy back to the Navy headquarters. As soon as the subordinate left, Akainu was calculating in his mind again. Khan's ability can seal 72 people, which is a pretty good number. 
Original. He captured two groups of wanted criminals and prepared to return to the Navy headquarters. Now that Khan has the ability, he thinks he can capture more pirates and take them back. Since they are sealed, he doesn't need to worry about them escaping. If something happens, he just needs to take Khan and run. You can bring all the wanted criminals back to the Navy headquarters. Coast sighed. Akainu sat and ate something. Just ate. Maud returned to Akainu and said, Sir, there is nothing wrong with Khan. He is an orphan and grew up on the island. I heard that his parents were killed by pirates. It is normal for him to want to join the Navy. No problem hearing Khan. Akainu nodded with satisfaction. Very good, since there is no problem, then his ability can be used. This time we came out to catch pirates. His ability is quite good and he can help us catch them. More pirates. When that kid comes over, let him seal all the pirates on the ship, and then we will return to the Navy headquarters after catching some pirates. Following Akainu. Those are all iron-blooded Navy. They will not refuse to catch pirates. Maud directly agreed and said, Sir, if we continue to catch pirates, we need to find a larger island and replenish some supplies. Akainu waved his hand. You can take care of this, just find a suitable island to land on. Maud nodded, saluted and left. After he left, Akainu rested for a while again. I saw Khan carrying a backpack and arriving at the port. So he waved to Khan, and when Khan came closer, he said, let that pirate out and let me see what your abilities are. Khan didn't refuse. The pirates were released directly. Akainu looked at the unconscious pirate on the ground and squatted down to check. Turn out. The other party's situation. Exactly the same as an hour ago. Look, the body functions of sealed people will indeed not change. He nodded and said to Khan, seal it. There are also four pirates on the ship. Seal them too. Khan was overjoyed. Now Akainu was to him. He was simply the god of wealth. He wanted to hug Akainu and kiss him. The excited Khan hurriedly said to Akainu, Sir, let's do things first. Akainu was very satisfied and said to a naval admiral on the side, Take him to seal those pirates. His strength can't knock those guys out. The general named by Akainu. He said calmly to Khan, come with me. Khan nodded. Pipianpidian followed the naval general and left. On the way to the ship, Khan asked the general who led him, Sir, what is your position and what is your name? The general leading the way glanced at Khan, just call me Major General Harry. Khan nodded repeatedly, Major General Harry, did you attack pirates when you came out this time? Harry said as he walked, we received an order to eradicate a pirate group. Now that the task is completed, we were supposed to go back, but the lieutenant general changed his plan and planned to catch more pirates and go back. Talking. Harry glanced at Khan. This is all because of you. We can't hold so many pirates on the ship. We were supposed to send people back to impel down. Now with your kid's ability, we can catch more pirates. Got it. Khan was overjoyed. I didn't expect Akainu to be so good. In order to help him increase his sin points, he actually worked so hard to catch pirates. They are simply his reborn parents. After Akainu dies, a memorial tablet must be established for him. The excited Khan said eagerly, as expected of Akainu-sama, whom I admire, he is so active in dealing with pirates. I think it is best to capture and kill all the pirates in the world, and not let any of them escape. Harry looked at the excited Khan and smiled. You have an appetite for us. What our lieutenant general believes in is to kill all the pirates. Khan nodded in agreement. Yes, I think so too. I only admire Akainu-sama after I saw the news that Akainu-sama will kill a thief. The two said. Already on board the ship. After Harry boarded the ship, he smiled and said to Khan, you have good abilities. If the lieutenant general goes out in the future, he will definitely take you with him. Khan was eager to follow Akainu. A workaholic like Akainu would definitely be able to catch a lot of pirates. By the time, the culpability level is not rising steadily. Think about it. His saliva almost dropped. After being excited for a while, Khan said to Harry, Major General Harry, after you seal those pirates, can you teach me how to practice? I have no one to teach me how to practice on the island. I want to learn how to kill pirates. Effort. Harry said as he walked, you have to practice slowly and gradually. Your physical fitness is too poor. You should practice the basics first. I will have someone teach you later. 
Basics of practice. That's necessary. Khan nodded and didn't ask any more questions. He followed Harry into the cabin and into an iron prison. In an iron prison, four people were chained. At first glance, they are not a good person. And their crime value made Khan very excited. Points. 4,653 points, 6,259 points, 3,869 points. The sin points of the four people are enough for him to practice at 10 times the speed for 27 hours. These 27 hours will definitely give him the strength of a non-commissioned officer. Think about it. He felt very happy. Harry arrived in the cell, knocked them unconscious under the vicious gazes of the four people, and then said to Khan, Okay, let's take them in. Khan is welcome. The past four people were thrown into the Book of Sin. Four people were admitted. He couldn't wait to tell Harry. Major General Harry, can someone help me practice? Harry glanced at Khan and smiled. Yes, you have a lot of energy, but you have to be able to persevere. Cultivation is not just a casual talk. Have ten times the cultivation experience. I can practice for three days and three nights without sleeping. Khan thought about it secretly, patted his chest and said, I will definitely train seriously. Harry smiled, turned around and said, follow me, I'll take you to meet someone. Khan follows Harry. Came to the deck. On the bow of the deck, Harry shouted towards the coast, Cullen, come here. Coast side. A navy. He hurried to the deck. As soon as he arrived, Harry introduced the person to Khan, this is Sergeant Cullen. He arranges the training of ordinary soldiers. You can learn the basics from him. Upon hearing this, Khan quickly saluted Cullen. Hello, Sergeant Cullen. Cullen is an unsmiling guy. He looked at Khan and just nodded slightly. Looking at your appearance, you are just an ordinary person's physical fitness. Let's practice basic strength for three months first. Yes, Sergeant Cullen. Khan agreed very respectfully. Cullen nodded with satisfaction and said, we will leave here in a while. It is not suitable to practice now. You have to take a rest first. After we leave, I will teach you some basic cultivation methods. Okay. Khan agreed, and then asked, what can I do to help now? I'll do something for everyone. Cullen shook his head. You just joined the Navy and you can't do anything well without training. It would be a disservice to help. There are still more than an hour left, so you can get to know your companions on the ship. Cullen said so. Khan stopped refusing. He chatted with Cullen and Harry for a few words, and then Cullen and Harry left because of something. He himself went to chat with the idle marines. All navies. He has a pretty good attitude towards Khan. Because they all saw that Akainu had a good attitude towards Khan. Since this is the person Akainu likes, they naturally don't dare to offend him. That's it. Khan got to know most of the navy on board. Akainu and the others will go to Zucchini Island. It was because they wiped out a wave of pirates in the morning, causing some damage to the hull, so they stopped temporarily to repair the ship after passing by Zucchini Island. The five pirates put away by Khan. That guy with a crime value of more than 3,000 was the one they had just arrested. As for the other four, this is the mission goal given to them by the Navy headquarters. The guy with a crime value was a guy with a bounty of 7,200 million. I heard from the navy that he killed the king of a small kingdom, which led the navy headquarters to send Akainu over to deal with this guy. Otherwise, Akainu will never come to the West Sea. He was really lucky to have met Akainu. On Zucchini Island. The navy spent three hours repairing the ship and then officially set sail. Khan is on the bow. Looking at Zucchini Island getting further and further away, I still sighed. Boy, I feel homesick so quickly. When Khan sighed. Cullen came to Khan's side and asked. Khan pouted inwardly. He has little affection for the island. Because his soul is no longer Khan's soul, but only uses Khan's body. As for the villagers on the island. It's just ordinary to him. Except that before he was 10 years old, the village chief gave him food to prevent him from starving to death. After he was 10 years old, he relied on others to help him farm the land in exchange for some food. And so. He had the whole island to thank. From now on, there will only be one village chief. It can be regarded as repaying his kindness by helping Khan's body. Khan thought about it secretly and couldn't wait to tell Cullen, there's nothing to think about. I want to practice and grow as soon as possible so that I can eliminate pirates in the future. 
Sergeant Cullen, please train me quickly. I can't wait. Cullen patted Khan on the shoulder. Okay, if you are ambitious, let's get started. Cullen finished. He took Khan to the stern deck of the ship. Taught Khan a complete set of basic training methods. This practice method. That's very simple. Just squat, jog, push-ups, sit-ups and other common movements. But, don't look at these actions as simple. Each one has strict standards. If you don't do it well, you can easily damage your body. Cullen taught Khan for a full hour and a half, and slapped Khan with a dozen sticks, finally making Khan's training standard. Cullen is on board. There is other work to be done. After teaching Khan, he let Khan train by himself and stopped caring about him. And Khan, devote yourself wholeheartedly to practice. The criminals imprisoned in the Book of Sin will lose one sin point every minute. Now that Khan has five prisoners, there will be five sin points every minute. Originally, this small amount of sin points was not enough for him to practice at ten times the speed, but he had accumulated more than 500 sin points before training, which was enough for him to practice at ten times the speed for an hour. Practice with sin points. It won't consume physical energy. Khan was not afraid of getting tired and started practicing one set of movements after another. Ten times the training speed. Let him feel that he is making progress every moment. This made him practice more and more vigorously, without wanting to rest at all. Soon, an hour passed. The sin points are completely consumed. He could only continue practicing at five times the speed. He has five criminals. The sin points consumed by cultivation just catch up with the consumption of sin points absorbed. That's all he is. I continued practicing until evening. Boy, you are very perseverant, very good. In the evening, Cullen came to Khan, praised Khan and then said, but you can't practice all the time, it will damage your body. Practicing for about three hours at a time is almost enough, let's go have dinner first. Hear Cullen's words. Khan stopped practicing. At this time, he then remembered that he had gone too far and might be noticed by others. He is still weak now. Don't let others notice his abnormal physical strength. From now on, it is better to practice for two hours, take a break, and continue practicing. After calming down, Khan quickly pretended to be tired and sat on the deck. He said, I'm so absorbed in practicing. If Sergeant Cullen hadn't called me, I might not have stopped practicing until I was physically injured. Fortunately, Sergeant Cullen didn't stop practicing. Sir, you called me, otherwise you will be in trouble if you get hurt. Cullen looked at Khan and said, you must balance work and rest, and don't damage your body just for practicing. When you practice in the future, it is best to practice for three hours and rest for one hour, so that your body can relax and rest. Don't practice all the time. Okay. After Khan agreed, he coughed and looked at Sergeant Cullen and said, Well, Sergeant Cullen, I'm too tired to move. Can you leave me a meal until I have a good rest? Come and eat later. Khan's training. Cullen saw it all. That's true, I didn't surrender for a minute. Cullen had a favorable impression of soldiers who were willing to practice. Seeing that Khan didn't want to move, he said directly, I'll bring you one. Anyway, eating in the cafeteria is for everyone, so you can eat here. Khan heard it. He quickly apologized to Cullen. Thank you, Sergeant Cullen. Cullen waved his hand. Just left the stern. Stern. There was always no one there. The people responsible for surveillance are all watching from the lookout. The remaining soldiers are resting, and they must ensure their physical strength to participate in the battle. At the time of departure, he heard Harry say that they were going to some island to destroy pirates there, so except for the soldiers who were responsible for monitoring the situation at sea, there were no other Navy people hanging out on the deck. This is why. The reason why Khan practiced for more than three hours without being disturbed. Of course, Khan was also seen practicing. But they just passed by and saw him practicing, so they just thought they happened to see Khan practicing, and did not think that Khan practiced for three hours without stopping. But, there are also those who always pay attention to Khan. For example, Cullen and Akainu. Just take a look at Khan's practice from time to time. Cullen had time to take a look. Akainu used his teleportation color to take a look at it from a distance. Now Akainu is quite satisfied with Khan, a little fan. Perseverance. Has devil fruit abilities. It might be okay to have a school level officer in the future. But, 
Akainu felt that he still needed to investigate. Maybe after Khan practiced for a while, he no longer wanted to practice, and then he would look down on him. What is Akainu thinking? Khan doesn't know. He watched Cullen leave, then lay on the ground to rest, looking at the sky in trance. He thought that it would be best to follow Akainu to catch pirates instead of returning to the Navy headquarters. It would be best to wait until his strength reached the rank of captain level officer before returning. That way, he has some ability to protect himself. If he really has some time, he should be able to escape. Thinking about it randomly, Cullen brought dinner over. Although Khan didn't use up much physical energy, he was really hungry. Cullen brings food. He took a few mouthfuls and finished it off. Cullen was about to leave. Seeing that Khan was eating quickly, he waited for a while. When Khan finished his dinner, he collected Khan's lunchbox and said, I have arranged your room. You need to rest. If so, go to room 5 in cabin, do you want to rest now? Khan waved his hand. Sergeant Cullen, go ahead and do your work. I'll take a break and train. My foundation is too weak. I can only keep up with you if I train more. I don't want you to be fighting. I can only watch while you're at it. Cullen glanced at Khan appreciatively. Okay, you can practice. I'll leave first. Khan nodded. Cullen left. Half an hour after Cullen left. Khan felt that he was almost rested and got up again for basic training. Night. Some sailors went to the stern of the ship to blow the sea breeze. Saw Khan doing basic training. He just said a few words to Khan jokingly, but did not get close to Khan. That's it. Khan trains for two hours and rests for one hour. Practice three rounds in a row. It was around 2.30 in the morning. After Khan finished the third round of training, he just sat down to rest and was about to train again later. Major General Harry appeared. He came to Khan and smiled and said, not bad, boy, we are convinced by your perseverance, but also don't work too hard, go back to your room and rest first. Khan glanced at Harry, stood up and saluted, Major General Harry, I'm not sleepy yet. I'll have another round of practice and then go back and rest. Harry patted Khan on the shoulder with relief. Okay, let's go back and rest first. This is the order of the Lieutenant General. Only after you have rest can you train better. Akainu's order. It seems like Akainu has been caring about me. Khan thought about it secretly and pretended to be excited and said, Since it is Akainu-sama's order, I will go back and rest first. See you later, Major General Harry. Say goodbye to Harry. Khan returned to the cabin. He found the room Cullen had arranged for him. The door opened. Khan discovered. There is actually a single room inside. This surprised him. Because on warships, only senior officers have private rooms. Such as Harry, Akainu. He is just a small soldier, and the treatment he enjoys is too high. Be surprised for a moment. Khan figured it out. His situation is different from others. There are five criminals sealed in the body. It would be excusable to leave him alone in a room. After all, they were not sure whether his seal would suddenly open and let criminals escape, so they arranged a separate room for him. Figure it out. He didn't hesitate. When he entered the room, he saw his bag, which had been placed in the room, so he took a shower, washed the sweat off his body, and then lay down to rest. Cultivation will not consume physical strength. Mental energy is still consumed. As soon as he lay down. Soon I fell asleep. In the room next to Khan, it was Akainu's room. He sensed that Khan was asleep, and said to Harry who had just entered, This boy is good. If he can persist in training until we return to the Navy headquarters, you can accept it. Become his disciple and pass on your spear skills to him. His devil fruit has unique abilities. It is not suitable for him to practice close quarters martial arts. He can easily be captured and cause the sealed criminal to escape. A gun is more suitable for him. Akainu means. Harry understands. Akainu was afraid that Khan would fight at close range, so he would release the criminal after being caught. Attack from a distance with a gun. Then it's not easy to get caught. Harry nodded. Okay, Lieutenant General, I'm going to rest first. Akainu nodded. Well, remember to pay more attention to him and be careful of the people he sealed running out. We are not yet sure what his abilities are. Harry thought for a while and asked. Lieutenant General, since you are worried that others can break his seal from the inside, why don't you ask me about the devil fruit? Didn't he tell me what the devil fruit looks like? 
Akainu said calmly. I asked the headquarters. The headquarters is still investigating, so there probably won't be any results. If the headquarters knew, they would have informed me already. There are too many messed up devil fruits, and the headquarters wouldn't know all of them. Harry suddenly realized. Nothing is said. Salute Akainu and leave. Night. Warships are also sailing. It's just that the speed is about twice as slow as during the day. Khan was in the room, slept for a while, and was woken up by the vibration of the ship's hull. After waking up, he looked outside the window. The sky is getting slightly brighter. He was feeling his energy and had fully recovered. So he simply got up and ran to the stern of the boat to continue practicing. His actions. Akainu sensed it quickly. He was very satisfied to see Khan training so hard. Then, he stopped paying attention to Khan. As a vice admiral, he is very busy. As for Khan's training, it was not as difficult as his training back then. So he just admired Khan's perseverance and didn't have many ideas. Say, it's only been one day. Is Khan worth cultivating? It depends on whether Khan can persist in the long term. Next two days, Khan slept only five hours a day. The rest of the time is just practice. Two days down, he felt that his physique had reached the level of an ordinary naval soldier, which made him very satisfied and made him more motivated to practice. The only thing he regretted. It was his guilt value that began to decrease, which made him feel a little helpless. Among the five criminals, there are two criminals with only more than 3,000 sin points. The sin points had been extracted, leaving him with only three points per minute. This made him impatient for Akainu to start working and catch more pirates for him to extract the sin points for training. But, he asked Major General Harry. Major General Harry said that they were tracking a pirate group. Major General Harry was not sure when they would be able to track them, so he could only wait. A criminal whose crime value has been cleared. The Book of Sin can still imprison them. Just. No longer extracting guilt value. Therefore, Khan did not release the person and continued to imprison him. While waiting, Khan also learned about the current situation from the Navy. On Zucchini Island, Khan's original body didn't know much about this world. So Khan absorbed the memories after traveling through time and possession, and didn't know much about the current situation. These two days, he asked about the situation. This also determines the current timeline. At this time, it is July 1499, 7 in the Haiyuan calendar. Last year, the pirate King Roger has just been executed, ushering in the age of pirates. Akainu will go to the Western Sea to hunt down pirates. Because of the proliferation of pirates, in order to maintain the stability of the sea, the navy almost always runs around chasing pirates and suppressing them. Over the past year, the navy sacrificed a large number of personnel to suppress pirates all over the sea, and finally made the sea a little calmer, and it was not as chaotic as a year ago. But, the sea remains chaotic. So Akainu often travels around on missions. 7 month 21 day. Around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Khan was training when he suddenly heard the call for a gathering. Suddenly, he came into high spirits. He stopped training and ran towards the bow of the ship. Usually, there will be no gathering on board the ship. Something must be happening at the gathering now. It's possible that the pirates Akainu was chasing have already been caught. If this happens, he will be able to capture another group of pirates and provide assistance in training. Run to the bow. The marines have assembled. Khan stood at the very back, looking at Major General Harry in front. After Harry saw that everyone had arrived, he said, everyone, get ready. Our headquarters has determined the location of the Silver Snake Pirates. We are going to move forward at full speed to destroy them. Get ready to fight now. Yes, the morale of the sailors was high. They all shouted. Khan also followed them and shouted excitedly. Harry ordered. The Navy began to prepare. Check the battery, check the battery, prepare the ammunition, prepare the ammunition. Khan had nothing to do because he had been training and had never studied anything else, so he ran to Major General Harry and asked, Major General Harry, do you think I can be of any help? Harry glanced at Khan and said, you're not even a recruit now, so don't do us any harm. Just hide when the battle starts. Khan suddenly became dissatisfied, but my heart relaxed. Akainu's opponent is not someone he can mess with at this stage. Not participating in the fight. 
it's the best for him. But, he couldn't show that he didn't want to fight. So he said dissatisfiedly, Major General Harry, it's okay for me to help fire a cannon. Harry glanced at Khan and said calmly, this is the order of Vice Admiral Akainu. As a navy, you should follow our arrangements. Your mission is to seal the defeated pirates. You must remember your responsibilities. Wait. When will you be recognized and able to go to the battlefield to kill the enemy? Khan pretended to be unhappy and said reluctantly, since it is a Kainu-sama's order, then I will obey it, but when I become stronger, you can't always regard me as someone who escorts prisoners. Harry smiled. Okay, I'm very busy, you can find a place to hide if you have nothing to do. Harry said a few words. Just left in a hurry. Khan pretended to sigh and looked around. Practice. It's impossible. There were busy sailors on board. He didn't have any space to practice. After the assembly signal sounded, the warship changed its direction and moved quickly toward the southeast. Khan was on the ship, asking passers-by about the situation. I asked several familiar Navy officers. They arrive at some pirate situation. The Silver Snake pirates have a total number of more than 200 people. The captain has a bounty of 8,600 million, and there are two pirates on board with a bounty of about 2 million. He asked about the situation. That's probably it. The sailors don't know the details. Maybe Akainu and Harry knew, but it was not easy for him to ask. But, you can ask these. He was very satisfied. A pirate with a bounty of 8,600 million. The crime value must be in the tens of thousands. Think about it. He got excited. After asking about the situation, he sat down and rested, waiting for the battle to begin. Two hours later, the warship arrived near an island. Khan was on the bow of the ship, and he could see a pirate ship parked on the coast of the island in the distance. But, he hasn't seen the pirate ship clearly yet. Akainu arrived at the bow of the ship and launched an attack into the sky. Meteor Volcano. Khan looked at Akainu and fired magma bombs into the sky, feeling a little disappointed. He remembers. In the One Piece anime, Akainu's meteor volcano emitted super large magma rocks. But now, the lava stone is no bigger than a basketball. It's completely incomparable to the anime. So in his eyes, the shock level was not high at all. But, think about it. That was Akainu 20 years later. Akainu is not as strong now as he was 20 years ago, which is normal. Akainu's, meteor volcano, was shot out. The pirate ship far away on the coast was suddenly bombarded by meteors falling from the sky. Just 10 seconds. The pirate ship was smashed into pieces. Akainu saw this and shouted, Get closer, don't let any pirates go. The pirate ship was destroyed. The morale of the navy immediately rose. They were all ready to land and fight at any time. Boy, go back to the cabin. When the navy was excited, Cullen came to Khan and said something to him. Khan looked at the shore that was getting closer and closer. He hesitated and said, is it okay if I take a look here? They can't get to the boat. Cullen rolled his eyes at Khan. You think the cannons on other people's ships are just decorations? Their ships are broken, not sunk, okay. Forehead. Makes sense. Khan thought for a while and sighed. Okay, then I'll go and stay in the cabin. Seeing Khan's depression, Cullen patted Khan on the shoulder and said, okay. When you become successful in your practice, you will have more opportunities to go to the battlefield to kill pirates. Khan pouted inwardly. He is depressed. It's not because he can't go to the battlefield. It was because those pirates were killed and he didn't know how much sin points would be wasted. Thinking about it made him feel a little distressed, so he looked depressed. With depression, Khan returned to the cabin. Behind the cabin door, peek outside. Two minutes later, cannon fire rang out. The two sides started an artillery battle. But, the cannons of the pirates are obviously inferior to the cannons of the warships. After the warships shelling, the pirate ship's cannon quickly became silent. Then, the warship fired another burst of shelling. Khan watched as the pirate ship was shattered by the bombardment and began to sink. Pirate ship destroyed. The warship stopped attacking and quickly approached the coast. After the warship docked, the navy jumped off the ship and followed Akainu to kill the pirates on the coast. Khan watched secretly from the boat. It feels boring. Because the pirates were too lazy and were running away, not fighting at all. Look, the pirates also know Akainu. 
so he didn't dare to fight a Kainu head on. After Khan saw the navy chasing the pirates and running into the depths of the island, he shook his head and went to a navy soldier who stayed behind and said, Black, were all your previous battles like this? Black looked at Khan and smiled. Most of them, Lieutenant General Akainu's reputation is very strong. There are not many pirates who dare to confront Lieutenant General Akainu head on. As for those truly powerful pirates, there are also very few. But if you encounter it, it will be a real hard battle. Khan nodded slightly and asked curiously, have you encountered such a powerful enemy recently? Blake shook his head. Almost all the powerful pirates have gone to the Grand Line. In the past year, we have been suppressing some pirates in the Four Seas. I heard that we want to pacify the pirates in the Four Seas. Now we are going to deal with the pirates in the Grand Line. Thief. Khan was stunned. The Four Seas are the basic base of the world government. Since the age of great pirates, the world government's primary purpose is to maintain the stability of the four seas. Only when the four seas are stable can they deal with the pirates of the Grand Line. On the warship, Khan waited for a while. I saw the sailors coming back one after another. Soon, there is an unconscious pirate. Was thrown in front of Khan. The bounty is 860 million, which is pretty good. You can exchange for some meritorious service when you go back. It was Sergeant Barker who spoke. He threw the person in front of Khan and said with a smile. Khan looked at the pirates on the ground. He had more than 2,400 sin points and quickly put them away. After he accepted the people, he excitedly asked Buck. Buck, how many bounty prisoners are there in this Silver Snake Pirates group? Buck thought for a while and said, there should be eight or nine, the rest are just minions. Nine criminals with bounties on their heads. That is the source of the nine sin points. Think about it. Khan was a little excited. But, thinking of those dead pirates, his heart still ached. Also, it doesn't necessarily mean he is a criminal with a bounty on his head, the crime value is high. It's possible that a younger brother has a higher crime value than the criminal with a bounty on his head. He feels. From now on, you must be the captain yourself to catch pirates, so as to maximize profits. I thought to myself. Khan sighed and told everyone, I also want to fight with you. Buck patted Khan on the shoulder and said with a smile, practice hard and you will have many opportunities to fight with the lieutenant general. Maybe you won't be able to kill all the pirates every day. Khan shook his head. He sighed and said nothing more. Buck and the others also got off the ship and went to clean up the damaged pirate ship. The pirates were wiped out. Treasure on the pirate ship. Naturally, it belongs to the navy. According to the sailors, they can divide the captured pirate finances into 30%, and the rest must be handed over to the headquarters for subsidies to the navy. Khan did not search for treasure. He was waiting at the bow of the ship, waiting for the navy to send the wanted criminals. Five minutes. Khan received two more wanted men. Their sin points are 2,321 and 3,852 points respectively. Received these two. Akainu carried an unconscious guy back to the ship. Sin is worth points. Looking at the guy Akainu brought back, Khan was very excited. He hurriedly ran over. Seal the guy in Akainu's hand. Akainu gave the person to Khan without saying anything to Khan. He just said to everyone, we will leave in an hour, and went back to the cabin to rest. After Akainu comes back, others also came back one after another. They brought five more wanted criminals to Khan. The sin points are, points, 6,232 points, 4,536 points, 4,863 points, and 1,563 points. Collect five wanted criminals. The Silver Snake pirates were completely destroyed. The rest are small. If you run away, there won't be any threat. The Navy didn't care about the escaped minions, but Khan did. Those are all sinful values. Think about it. He felt terribly distressed. Pity. The Navy also only arrests wanted criminals, because only wanted criminals can receive credit. As for ordinary little guys. No credit at all. The reason is that there are too many pirates in the world, and even the Navy has no time to take care of the little guys. After the Silver Snake pirates were destroyed and the Navy collected some of the pirates' treasures and supplies, the warship set sail towards the next target. After the warship sets off, the Navy held a banquet and had a good meal. Banquet. Khan also participated. 
He doesn't want to not fit in and be ostracized by others. After the banquet, he couldn't wait to run to practice. Now that he had enough sin points, he was training at 10 times the estimated speed. One day, it will pass quickly. They were at noon the next day. Encountered an unknown pirate group at sea. Result. Khan gained nothing. Because a Kainu fired a meteor volcano from a distance and blasted the pirate ship directly into the sea, this resulted in the navy not catching a single pirate. This situation. Khan was very depressed. Looking at a Kainu, there was resentment in his eyes. 7 month 23 day. Around 11 o'clock in the morning. Khan was practicing when the alarm sounded again. The loudspeaker shouted that there was a pirate ship sailing 2 kilometers ahead and to the left. Khan heard it. I just couldn't bear it anymore. He really didn't want to waste the sin points of those pirates. So after thinking for a while, he gritted his teeth and ran to Major General Harry who was busy and said, Major General Harry, I have something to tell you. Harry glanced at Khan and frowned. You want to join the battle again, right? Khan waved his hand. No, no, I want you to capture all the pirates alive. Harry was stunned and looked at Khan in surprise. What are you going to do? Are you going to catch them alive and kill them for you? This is not possible. No. Khan said seriously. After I sealed a dozen pirates recently, I feel like my fruit ability has developed some new ability. I want some pirates to test it. Quantity the more the merrier. Fruit's new ability. Harry looked at Khan in surprise and asked, what's the new ability? Tell me about it. Khan said helplessly, Major General Harry, if I want to know, I won't ask you for the pirate test. I just have a vague feeling like that. Harry glanced at Khan, thought for a moment and said, I'll go talk to the Lieutenant General. Khan hurriedly saluted Harry, thank you, Major General. Harry waved his hand, wait here, I'll go talk to the Lieutenant General. Speak to Khan. Harry hurried to Akainu. When he arrived in front of Akainu, Harry told Akainu about Khan. After hearing this, Akainu glanced at Khan from a distance and said, it seems that his fruit may have other abilities. In this case, let's catch some live ones for him to test. But it won't affect the battle. Don't catch live ones. As a result, our own people will suffer losses, and those who are alive after the battle will be left to him. Harry nodded. I understand, then I'll go down and talk to him first. Akainu waved. Harry returned to Khan and told Khan Akainu's answer. Khan heard it. My heart suddenly felt better. Although you can't catch all the pirates and absorb the sin points, you can at least increase some. The past few days have passed. The crime value of 13 pirates. Only 4 of those sucked by him are still holding on. If he can't catch more, he will almost be unable to maintain 5 times the cultivation speed. Such. Not good. After Khan thought about it, he relaxed and said to Harry, Thank you, Major General Harry. Harry patted Khan on the shoulder, turned and left. Okay, I'm going to get busy. Harry leaves. The warship was almost close to the pirate ship. The pirate ship also discovered the warship and was running away frantically. But. The speed of the pirate ship. Obviously not as good as a warship. About five minutes later, the pirate ship entered the attack range of the warship's cannon, and the warship's cannon began to continuously bombard the pirate ship. Pirate ship. It was quickly destroyed. There is no way to move on. The warship also moved closer and prepared to attack. Two minutes later, the warship approaches. Gunfire sounded from the pirate ship, and the pirates began to attack. A Kainu subordinate. The combat experience is quite rich. It is difficult to hit them with ordinary firearm attacks. After they approached the warship, they killed it under the leadership of Harry. This time the pirate group. It should be a newbie pirate group. Harry took a dozen people over and took care of all the pirates. The whole battle. It was over in less than 10 minutes. While the navy was searching the pirate ship for supplies, Harry waved to Khan on the pirate ship and said, Boy, come and collect people. Khan is waiting. He couldn't wait to jump onto the pirate ship. Pirates. They had all been knocked unconscious. Khan looked at the satisfied pirate, who was a little helpless. Because these pirates are all fledgling, their crime value is not too high. The guy with the most sins. That's only 1326 points of sin. Others. They are all hundreds of points. It's simply pitiful. But. Mosquito legs are also meat. 
he still collected more than 30 pirates. Harry waited until Khan finished collecting the people, then came to Khan and asked, How are you? Do you have any new feelings after collecting so many pirates? Khan glanced at Harry, thought for a while and said, It seems that I don't feel much when I take them in. I think I felt the most obvious when I took in the Silver Snake and the others. Harry frowned. After thinking for a while, he said, It seems that your devil fruit may only be effective on strong people. This is because the pirates are too weak. If you don't feel anything, maybe they are too weak. Khan heard it. It was a series of nods. Harry even thought of an excuse for him, so he wouldn't have to make excuses to deal with a kainu. That's right. That should be the case, Khan echoed, when we catch a more powerful one next time, maybe we can determine the reason. Harry smiled and nodded. Then try again next time, but what are you going to do with the pirates you sealed? Don't you only have 72 sealed spaces? Khan pretended to think about it and said, I will study it first. If they are of no use, I will release them and kill them directly. All pirates deserve to die. Harry patted Khan on the shoulder. Very good, they have the style of our lieutenant general. When you think they are useless, just release them and kill them. Pirates. That can be recycled. Kill directly. That's such a waste. Khan said to kill him, but he only said it to a kainu. His thoughts are. After a while, they absorbed the sin value and threw them directly into the sea, leaving them to fend for themselves. Alive. Consider them lucky. Died. Bad luck to them. After Khan thought about it secretly, he said to Harry, that is really troublesome. After I have studied it thoroughly, I will throw them directly into the sea to feed the fish. Some pirates. Harry didn't care either. He listened to Khan's words and nodded. You can do whatever you want, I won't care about you. Then I'll go back and study first. Khan nodded. After returning to the warship, he greeted the Navy and returned to his room. Navy men. Still searching for supplies. It took about half an hour before we returned to the boat and continued our journey. In your own room. Khan stayed until 9 p.m. After most of the pirate's sin points were absorbed, he walked out of the cabin, reached the stern of the ship, and threw the useless guy into the sea. Those pirates. The sin value is generally over 200 points. Judging from their crime value, they must have committed murder and arson. Died. That would be a worthy death so he didn't feel guilty at all for throwing them into the sea. Say. He is not the virgin. Those who deserve to be killed must be killed. The only thing that made him a little uncomfortable was that those who fell into the sea woke up and shouted for help. This made him feel a little noisy, so he went back to the bow of the ship. When Khan was disgraced into the sea, Harry and Akainu were both observing Khan. They were very satisfied when they saw him throwing people into the sea without showing any special emotions. He also ran all the way into the canteen to find something to eat. Follow him Akainu. That means we should kill decisively. Just kill the pirates if you want. Akainu now feels that Khan can be cultivated. He does not only practice hard, but also practices very quickly. He can sense Khan's power. It has more than doubled in the past three days, which shows that Khan has practiced. Talent, in this case, is worth cultivating. After seeing Khan doing dinner. Akainu ran to the stern of the ship to practice again. Akainu was very satisfied and said to Harry next to him, This guy is good. I like it. I think his strength is almost the same as that of an ordinary sailor. Tomorrow you teach him how to use firearms. Harry didn't see Akainu's abilities. Can't sense Khan's increase in strength. So he looked at Akainu hesitantly. Lieutenant General, he has only trained for three days, right? Akainu said calmly. I know, this kid's strength is improving very quickly. Although he only practiced for three days, his strength has actually doubled. I'm afraid this is what his devil fruit has brought to him. The effect, didn't he say that sealing the pirates gave him a special feeling? It's possible that sealing the pirates could help him practice quickly. Harry suddenly realized. Devil fruits have all kinds of strange abilities. It's not surprising that Khan has this special ability. Harry thought for a moment and nodded. Okay, I'll start teaching him how to shoot tomorrow. Akainu nodded. Train him well. When I become a general, I will need a group of people to follow me on the Grand Line. I must not let those fools pirates mess around. Harry nodded in agreement. If Akainu is busy catching pirates, he's not just playing around. 
He is accumulating military exploits and preparing to become a general. The general is now vacant. Akainu is very promising. After leaving Akainu, Harry arrived at the stern of the ship. He watched Khan practice for two hours. When he sat down to rest, he walked to Khan and sat down and said, Boy, you are very good. Are you interested in learning marksmanship from me? Khan was stunned. Harry's battle these days. Khan saw it clearly. His marksmanship can be said to be perfect and very accurate. But, Khan felt that the sword was more powerful. Easy to show off. I have never considered practicing marksmanship. Now Harry came and said that he wanted to teach him marksmanship. Khan looked a little hesitant. Seeing Khan's hesitation, Harry snorted coldly, Why, don't you look down on my swordsmanship? Khan came to his senses and said hurriedly, No, no, I admire Major General Harry's marksmanship very much, but all I ever wanted to do was learn swordsmanship. Harry's expression softened a little, You still have the task of guarding prisoners. It's not suitable to practice swordsmanship. Start learning spearmanship from me tomorrow. Khan also wants to say a few words. Harry turned around and left, leaving behind a sentence, that's it, this is Lieutenant General Akainu's order. Khan was speechless, but there is no choice but to compromise. After all, he is very weak now. Learning gun skills can quickly increase his combat effectiveness. Just learn. He has the book of sin anyway. You will learn everything quickly in the future. I thought about it for a while. He continued to practice. After sleeping in the cabin all afternoon, I had enough sleep. Now that there is a 10 times cultivation speed with a sin value bonus, there is no need to delay. Become stronger sooner. The more you can move freely. Practice until 4 o'clock in the morning. Khan felt a little sleepy, so he went back to the cabin to rest. 7 in the morning. He was called by Harry to learn gun fighting. Just started learning. It's just relatively simple. Just give him a gun and let him familiarize himself with the structure of the gun. Once he became familiar with the structure of the gun, he began to practice shooting. Just target practice. Harry taught Khan all morning. After Khan learned how to shoot in a standard posture, he went to work on other things. Let Khan practice shooting for two hours every day for the next week, and he could continue to practice his basic physical skills during the rest of the time. While practicing. Three more days passed. During these three days, they encountered another unlucky pirate group. This pirate group was also fledgling like the previous one. Harry led his men to annihilate it, adding more than 8,000 crimes to Khan. Value. Also. By the fourth day. At four o'clock in the afternoon, they arrived at a large island port and stopped. Stop this time. They need to replenish supplies. Khan also followed the sailors and got off the ship to take a walk in the port town. Arrived in the world of One Piece. Khan has never been anywhere. Three days in Zucchini Island. The rest of the time was spent training boringly on the warship. This time I went to the island. He was very excited. He followed Cullen and Drews, whom he was familiar with, to the town's tavern. The three of them sat down in the tavern. I ordered some wine and food to come over to eat and drink. After Cullen got the wine, he took a big gulp and said, it's great. I haven't had a drink for half a month. It's really hard. I wish I had wine every day. On a warship, drinking is not allowed. Because you may encounter pirates and have to fight at any time. So Akainu ordered. No one is allowed to drink alcohol on board. Khan had no interest in wine. He looked around and saw that they were all guys whose sin value was less than 50, which made him not very interested. He took two bites of food and asked Cullen. Brother, are we still wandering on the sea? Don't we have an accurate target to attack? Cullen said while drinking. Those powerful pirates are all running around and rarely stay in one place. We have to wait until the headquarters sends news before we can deal with those stronger pirate groups. If there is no news from the headquarters, in the past, we could only wander around the sea and fight against pirates. Khan was a little speechless. I'm still waiting to catch a big pirate to test my fruit ability. I don't feel much about just some small ones. Cullen rolled his eyes. I think your kid's ability is to increase your cultivation speed, otherwise your cultivation speed would not be so fast. Say it. Cullen looked at Khan with some envy. I also want a devil fruit. You devil fruit users have increased their strength too fast. Ten days of training. Khan consumed more than six sin points. 
Now his physique is stronger than that of the sailors on the ship. N. Cullen. He is responsible for Khan's basic training. He would check on Khan's training progress every day. So he clearly knew what level Khan's strength had reached. Cullen thought. Give Khan a week. Khan's overall strength may exceed him. In Cullen's envy, Khan said with a smile. When I become a general in the future, I will definitely find a devil fruit for you, big brother, to make you stronger. Cullen rolled his eyes. Wait until Khan becomes a general. He may have to wait a lifetime. So he was too lazy to talk nonsense to Khan and continued to drink. No one spoke. Khan took a few big bites of food to fill his stomach first. Full. He stood up and said to Cullen. Brother Cullen, I'm going to go shopping in the town. The island where everyone stops. It is an island that is a member of the world government. The navy is on the island. Of course there is no danger. Khan was going to go shopping, and Cullen said casually, get back to the warship on time, don't run too far. Khan nodded. Left the tavern. Town. It's still quite lively. Khan walked around the town and bought some snacks. Then, he just wandered around. Look around at passers-by for their sin value. Ordinary people. The guilt value is between 1 and 10 points. I saw several patrolling town guards with a crime value between 20 and 50. The leader of the escort has a crime value of 225 points. So visible. The human beings who hold power in this world are actually not good people. It's worth the sin. They are similar to the ordinary pirates he caught. Khan looked at the guards and wanted to catch them to increase their sin points, but he knew that he couldn't do that at this stage. He could only drool with greed. After wandering around for a while, only watching but not catching, Khan felt bored. He was ready to return to the warship and continue practicing his marksmanship. On the way back to town, Khan was walking when suddenly a six-digit sin value passed in front of him. This made him stunned and looked back quickly. Sin is worth points. What the hell? Where does this ruthless person come from? Could it be a big boss in some army? Khan immediately became energetic and couldn't help but follow the man for a while, staring at the sin points on the man's head. His tracking. It is quickly felt by others. The other party turned around and glanced at Khan. When he saw that Khan was wearing navy clothes, he frowned slightly and disappeared into the street in a flash. The person being followed suddenly disappears. Khan immediately looked around. But after looking around, I couldn't find anyone. He was just thinking about where the people had gone when he suddenly trembled all over and broke into a cold sweat. I actually followed that ruthless character. You can kill him with just one finger. I lost my mind. How dare you follow such a person casually. I really don't know how to write the word, death. Fortunately, they didn't cause trouble for him. Khan wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. That was to run back towards the port coast quickly. No. Gotta go back quickly. Can't walk on the street anymore. I'm afraid I might get into trouble if I go shopping. Khan runs away. The person he was following came out of a corner. He watched Khan run away with a sudden expression on his face, and his expression became serious. That navy. Did you recognize me? Otherwise, my face would change drastically and I would run back. That Akainu guy is at the port. If Akainu knows that he is here, they will definitely be in trouble. It seems that the deal will be abandoned. The man looked at Khan's back, frowned and thought for a while, then hurriedly left the town. For him, trading and other matters were not as important as his own life. Of course. The marine who recognized him. He also remembered it deeply in his mind. Back to the warship. Khan was still frightened. He felt that he was really drifting just now, and he would never be so careless again in the future. Sighed for a while. He shook his head. Returned to the stern of the ship and continued practicing. As soon as he practices. Time passed quickly. In the evening, the navies came back one after another and the warships set off again. After the warship goes to sea. Khan went to ask Cullen where they were going. Cullen said. They were going to patrol near Bataan Island. Because the headquarters gave them news that the Blackbird pirates, with a bounty of 8,650 million, were haunting that area. They're going to patrol the area. Wait for the headquarters to give them clues about the Blackbird pirates. Head to Bataan. It took them two days. They didn't meet any pirates on the way. But, just arrived in Bataan, they saw three pirate ships parked on the coast. Who is a Kainu? 
there is no reason to let go of pirates when you see them. No matter how strong the opponent was, he would not back down, let alone three unknown small pirate groups. He directly ordered an attack and killed them first. Meteor Volcano destroys ship. Blocked the pirates' escape. Then there was a burst of shelling, forcing the pirates onto the island. Then, the warship docked. Fighting with pirates. There are three pirate groups with three to four hundred people, and I don't see anyone particularly powerful among them. There is one who has good knife skills. He died after being punched through the chest by a kainu. The sight of Khan felt extremely painful, which was more than 1700 sin points. Melee. End soon. It ended with a naval victory. Khan looked at the navy and began to clean up the mess, and he also got off the ship to help. More than 300 pirates. More than 100 of them died, and the rest were injured and captured by the navy. Khan accepts people into the Book of Sin. That is to treat those seriously injured and about to die first. Otherwise, if they die, their sin points will be cleared. He collected the valued ones first, and after absorbing their sin points, he threw them out. When the time came, they would die. I ran on the shore for a while. After Khan collected the 17 seriously injured pirates, he was ready to collect the less seriously injured pirates, but before he could take action, he saw a seriously injured marine. After being treated by a military doctor, he was still dying. See this situation. Khan's heart moved. He hurriedly walked to the military doctor and asked, Dr. West Germany, how is he? Military doctor Sid glanced at Khan and sighed, it's hopeless. We don't have the conditions to treat him here. If he is at the headquarters, he might be able to be saved. Hear the words of the West German doctor. The Navy lying on the ground smiled. It doesn't matter, I have killed hundreds of pirates with the lieutenant general. Even if I die in this life, it will be worth it. The West German doctor sighed. At this time, Khan looked at the more than 900 sin points above the head of the seriously injured navy, and he suddenly shouted to Harry in the distance, Master Harry, come here. Hear Khan's cry. Harry came to Khan's side and frowned and said, I'm questioning why those pirates gathered here. Why did you call me here? Khan pointed to the seriously injured marine on the ground and said seriously, Master, I have now discovered another function of my ability. Harry was stunned and asked curiously, What's your new ability? Tell me about it and let me hear it. Khan nodded and pointed at the seriously injured navy, My ability can seal living things, and the opponent's body will not change in any way after being sealed. Just now, Dr. West Germany said that he is hopeless and can only return it is possible to cure him only when he returns to the headquarters, so I think if I seal him up and release him when I return to the Navy headquarters, then he will be able to survive, Master, are you right? Harry heard it. His eyes suddenly lit up. He patted Khan on the shoulder and said, Okay, I will immediately give you seals for those who are seriously injured and cannot be cured, so that they can survive. Say it. Harry said to the West German doctor, you have heard what Khan said, you should hand over all the people who cannot be cured to Khan, and then bring them back to the headquarters for treatment. Sid nodded, stood up and said, I'll make arrangements right away. After Khan saw West Germany leaving, he looked at the seriously injured sailor on the ground and said, Eden, I'm going to knock you out and seal you, so be prepared. Can live. Who wants to die? Eden heard Khan's words and said with a smile. Khan, you saved my life. When I recover, I will treat you to a good meal. Then I will let you try your sister-in-law's cooking. By the way, I'd like to introduce my sister to you. Khan rolled his eyes. You are injured so badly and you talk so much nonsense. Just wait for me to come over with my stick and knock you out and seal it. Don't bother me. Eden heard Khan's words and hit himself on the head with his own gun, knocking him unconscious. Khan saw this. Very speechless. He quickly sealed Eden. After Khan took Eden in, the West German doctor led a few sailors to carry two injured sailors and said to Khan, the two of them are more seriously injured. The injuries of the others will be treated and they will be healed after a while. Recover. Khan nodded. The two injured marines were also sealed. When Harry saw Khan put everyone away, he patted Khan on the shoulder and said, well done. I'll remember you for your contribution when I get back to the headquarters. With your ability, you should be a corporal. There shouldn't be any problem. Understand. 
Khan nodded, looked at the captured pirates in the distance and said, Master, my seal space is not enough. How do you arrange for those pirates? Harry looked at the pirates, thought for a while and asked Khan, are those guys useful to you? Recent. Even Cullen had guessed it. His devil fruit seals the pirate and helps him in his training. Harry. As his master. Of course you can guess it. Khan thought for a while and said without concealment, it's somewhat useful, but not too big. Only the strong sealers can help me practice stronger. Those guys can probably help me practice for four or five hours and then they will be useless. When Harry heard this, he said simply, in that case, we will lock them up first, wait until you use the fruits to drain their value, and then throw them into the sea. Khan was immediately overjoyed and hurriedly saluted Harry, thank you, master. Harry patted Khan on the shoulder, your devil fruit ability is pretty good. You might become a lieutenant general in the future. Don't forget me, your master. Khan said with a smile. Don't worry, master, I will never forget you. Harry nodded and said, you can do your own business. I'll ask those guys why they are gathering here. I think something must be happening here. Harry said a few words to Khan. Just left in a hurry. Khan didn't waste time. He ran to the captured pirates first and asked the sailors to knock out those with low crime scores and seal them for him. His thoughts are, quickly absorb the ones with low sin value first and then throw them away. Then, after sealing those with high sin values, they are slowly absorbed. 76 sealed spaces. Filled up quickly. Khan's sin value is increasing rapidly at a rate of 66 points per minute. After he has gathered many people. Practice basic physical skills on the shore. After he practiced for about half an hour, Cullen came to Khan and said, Boy, Major General Harry asked me to inform you that you should train slowly here. We will stay on this island for a while. Khan stopped practicing and looked at Cullen in surprise. Why did you stop suddenly? Cullen pointed in the direction of the imprisoned pirates. Major General Harry asked about some information and said that there seemed to be a legend of treasure on this island. Lieutenant General Akainu meant to wait here and report the Blackbird pirates to the headquarters. Before we receive news from the group, stop the pirates here. Khan was stunned. He said somewhat speechlessly, there is a treasure on this island. Has no one heard of it before? Cullen said, don't ask me, I don't know. It seems that Lieutenant General Akainu decided to stay after contacting the headquarters. If you have any questions, just ask the Lieutenant General. Khan pouted. He was too lazy to ask. He is now worth a lot of sin. You should be busy cultivating and don't want to meddle in other people's business. Say. Stop the pirates here. He couldn't wait to do it. It would be best if a group of pirates were sent to him every day to absorb the sin points. So he said directly. I understand, then I will continue to practice. Brother Cullen, you will bring me food later, I will not go back to the ship. Cullen rolled his eyes. I feel like I've become your nanny. Khan smiled and said, when I become a general, I will repay you. Cullen pouted, turned and left. He didn't believe it at all that Khan became a general. But, now the whole navy on the ship is taking sincere care of Khan. Because they may be seriously injured in the future, and Khan may need to save their lives. Just giving Khan a meal. Cullen doesn't do it, more people do it. Akainu decided to stay and wait. So the Navy moved the warships to hide elsewhere, and the Navy dispersed to the coast to watch for easy landing places. As for Khan, he moved to the place where the warship was docked to practice. Because the pirates were all imprisoned on the warship, he had to replace them every once in a while, leaving the pirates who had absorbed their sin points to his companions. Throw into the sea. Not now. They are all on the shore. It would be too easy for them to survive being thrown into the sea. It is only appropriate to throw them into the sea in the middle of the sea. Practicing. Time passed slowly. After dinner, around 9 p.m., Khan, who was practicing, suddenly stopped practicing with an excited expression on his face. The absorption of sin value reaches 10 points, and the Book of Sin has been upgraded to level 2. The sealed space has been increased to 365 bits. Open new functions. Sin judgment. Sin judgment. The person being judged will receive the same sin judgment, that is, whatever evil he has done in the past will be repeated on himself. The trial is successful. 
the trial value is cleared, the host gains the practice experience of the person being judged, and the person being judged will always live in fear of the host. The trial fails, the guilt value remains unchanged, the strength of the person being judged will increase the overall attributes according to the duration of the trial, and the hatred towards the host will be doubled. In Khan's mind, such news suddenly appeared, which made Khan feel excited. He knew it. The power of the Book of Sin. It's definitely more than just helping with cultivation. Now new abilities. This is coming. The seal space is increased. He doesn't care much. It was the new ability, Sin Judgment, that he found quite interesting. The trial was successful. He has benefits. If the trial fails, the person being judged benefits. But, if the person being judged is allowed to experience the evil deeds he has done, it is estimated that it will be difficult for anyone to survive the trial. Only those with strong mental strength can do it. Such as Akainu. He will surely stand trial. Therefore, this judgment ability may not be very effective for confident and strong people. Think for a while. Khan couldn't wait to open the Book of Sin. Really. The Book of Sin has increased to 365 pages, and the number of people he can seal has increased. But, ignore this for now. Let's try the Sin Judgment first. Khan flipped through the Book of Sins and came to a pirate page that originally had more than 6,000 Sin points, and then clicked on the Judgment of Sins on that page. After he clicks on the Judgment of Sin, the originally unconscious pirate's expression immediately changed, and he began to struggle and twist. It was like experiencing it in a dream. Very cruel thing. One minute. Three minutes. Five minutes. The pirate kept struggling with a twisted expression. Khan knows. This trial will be short-lived and will probably be difficult to end. So he continued to practice and waited for the end of the trial. After practicing for more than 20 minutes, the Book of Sin suddenly lights up. Khan quickly opened the Book of Sin and read it. On that pirate's page, the crime trial shows success, and practice experience can be extracted. Cultivation experience. A guy whose sin is worth more than 6,000. The strength must be very good. His cultivation experience will definitely be of great benefit to him. So he quickly chose to extract cultivation experience. A choice was made. Inside Khan's head, a refined memory of cultivation appeared. It's the sword technique that pirate once used. Absorbed memories. Khan picked up a branch and used the entire set of knife skills. When he used the last knife, his branch hit a tree, and the branch was broken into two pieces, leaving a sunken branch mark on the tree. Hiss. It's really amazing. If you use a knife, you can definitely cut someone in two. Amazing. It has this ability to judge sin. He won't need to practice any martial arts from now on. He only needs to increase his strength and when learning martial arts, he can extract the abilities of others, so that his strength can be increased quickly. I thought for a while. The excited Khan slowly calmed down. You still have to practice things like swordsmanship and spearmanship. Extracting other people's training memories is just other people's training memories. If he wants to become a truly strong person, he still has to find his own way. But, at this stage, his strength is relatively weak. It would also be good to extract other people's fighting methods and use them for him. When he has the strength of a general, he will go his own way. I thought to myself. Khan couldn't wait. Start judging the three guys with a crime value of more than 10,000. As for the crime value being too low. Their training experience was probably useless, and he wasted his time on trial. 46 minute later. Khan gained another set of boxing skills. This boxing technique is a set of secret techniques that allows him to exert five times his own strength in an instant, which consumes the practitioner's physical strength. To con his physique, eight punches is already the limit. Another 68 minutes later, he acquired a set of swift wind sword skills, which can be used to cut out swift wind sword energy. But, Khan's physique is too weak. He can't use sword energy to cut, he can only use sword moves. By around 2 o'clock in the morning, the last guy with the most sins was also successfully tried and brought the same set of wind sword skills to Khan. Just his blast swordsmanship. More powerful than the previous one. It is possible that you have entered the threshold of a swordsman. Khan remembered that his bounty was more than 8,000 million, which was normal for a swordsman. Absorbed the cultivation experience of the three people. Khan returned to the boat to rest. 
he was not prepared to tell anyone else about the sin judgment. Just now, he plans to improve his physical fitness more. Practicing spear skills can be put at the back. Anyway, once a kainu catches some masters with guns, he can use the trial of sin to gain experience in spear skills. And so, the next enemy battle, he was going to have a good look at it. Whose fighting style suits him, he will judge with sin. Such. It won't be like today. He wasted his time trying to judge two people even though they both used the swift wind swordsmanship. In fact, he should only judge the strongest one. Also, it's not that the guilt value is high. The strength is strong. Some people may not have a high crime value, but have very strong combat experience. For example, Luffy and the others in the original work. They don't kill people much, so their crime value is definitely not too high. But their combat experience is very rich. Of course. He can also catch one and judge him. But Khan felt that was unnecessary and could easily lead to problems being discovered. After all, he is judged. They will all be very afraid of him. When the time comes, all the people will be released and handed over to the Navy headquarters. However, the Navy people find that the pirates are afraid of him, so the Navy will definitely doubt his ability. And so, only try some useful guys. This is a more appropriate choice. Rest overnight. The sin points of more than 100 pirates were basically absorbed by him. After leaving all the pirates without bounties to the Navy, he ran to the forest to continue training, hoping to improve his physique as quickly as possible. This practice. Just two more days passed. In the past two days, Akainu and the others eliminated two more pirate groups who wanted to hunt for treasure, and captured another 125 people and handed them over to Khan to absorb the sin points. These two pirate groups. There is a good gunner. Khan used judgment of sin to speed up his marksmanship experience. Just now. He can do it. Hit by an apple gun from 20 meters away. There is this spear skill. It's enough to be perfunctory with Harry. He began to spend less time practicing spear skills and more time practicing physical fitness. In Bataan. It's half past four in the afternoon on the third day. Khan was practicing. Drust ran into the forest, found Khan who was practicing, and said hurriedly, Khan, we are going to gather and set off. Khan stopped practicing and followed Drews as he walked and said, what's going on? Drews said as he walked, just now we wiped out another pirate group, and asked about the news about the Blackbird pirates. Lieutenant General Akainu asked us to set out immediately to pursue the Blackbird pirates. The pirates here are temporarily do not care. Khan heard it, nodded. Then he hurriedly asked, by the way, have you captured the pirates you killed? Drew smiled and said, don't worry, your master, Major General Harry, has brought them all back. Just seal them when they get to the ship. Khan heard it. Relax. His sin points have been depleting rapidly recently. Now that he was practicing, he could only practice at three times the speed, which made him very depressed. There are pirates. He didn't want to let it go. Harry could help him bring the person back, so he had to thank Harry properly. The two said. Just returned to the warship. Just got on board. Khan saw Harry. He was about to go over and chat with Harry, but Harry waved directly to him. I'm very busy, don't disturb me. After you go and collect all the pirates, go to the lieutenant general in his office. He has something to talk to. You say. Khan was shocked. He wondered if Akainu had discovered his secret by looking for him. These three days, he practices in the forest. He felt that the secret of the crime trial should not be exposed. After all, Akainu's sense of dominance is not very strong. He is in the forest. At least 800 meters away from Akainu. Akainu is said to be unable to sense it. Khan thought for a while and felt that Akainu might not have discovered his secret when he came to him, so he went to the cabin first and collected all the pirates into the Book of Sin, and then ran to the door of Akainu's room and knocked. Door, Lord Akainu, I am Khan. Come in. Akainu in the room replied. Khan opened the door and walked into the room. In the room, Akainu was sitting at the table, drinking a cup of coffee. On the table, there is also a nautical chart on display. It looked like Akainu was studying where to go. Khan arrived at the table and saluted Akainu. Sir, I'm here. Akainu put down the coffee cup, glanced at Khan, nodded slightly and said, Yes, your strength has improved very quickly. It seems that your devil fruit ability is quite good. 
talking. A kainu knocked on the table and said, your strength is as strong as that of a junior officer. It's time to join the battle and practice it in life and death. Tonight we will go to an unknown island to fight the Black Bird Sea. The thieves are going to war, and when the time comes, follow Harry to join the battle. Yes. Khan agreed, saluted Akainu and said, I have been waiting for this moment for a long time, and I will never let Akainu down. Akainu nodded slightly. Very good, we will return to the Navy headquarters after the Blackbird pirates are wiped out. The Marshal is very interested in your abilities. When the time comes, you can go to the Navy training camp to receive training. Wait until you arrive after training for a year, you can be on your own when you get out. Khan is overjoyed. But soon his brows furrowed again. Because when he went to the Navy training camp, there were no pirates to provide him with sin points. Akainu saw Khan's hesitation and said calmly, the marshal already knows your ability. Don't worry, he will help you arrange it. Khan was stunned. I immediately thought of the criminals in the underwater prison. The warring states marshal wanted to help find pirates, and there were a lot of them in the underwater prison. Think of this. Khan became a little excited. The big underwater prison. If he captures all the pirates there, he will become a rich man in no time. Think about it. They couldn't help but be excited. So he hurriedly saluted Akainu. Don't worry, sir. After I graduate, I will come back to work for you and help you destroy the pirates in the sea. Akainu nodded. We are all soldiers. We will have to obey orders from now on. The marshal will make arrangements for your affairs. You can go down and practice first. Khan could tell. Akainu was very pleased with him. This put him in a good mood, and after saluting Akainu, he retreated. Back on deck, Khan saw that everyone was busy. So he returned to the stern of the ship and continued to practice his basic physical skills. Night. Around 10 o'clock, the warship docked at an island. After everyone got ashore, they followed Akainu into the forest on the island. Khan will also participate in the battle this time. Just stay with Harry and act together. Harry said to Khan as he walked, Boy, you have to be careful later. Bullets don't have holes in the fight, so don't get hurt. Khan pulled out his two guns, turned them around a few times in his hands, and after a bit of showmanship, he said, Don't worry, master, no one can come within 20 meters of me. Fancy. Harry complained when he saw this. Don't treat guns as toys, you must have faith in guns, otherwise you will never learn marksmanship. Khan smiled, ha ha, and said, Master, don't worry, I understand. Harry looked at Khan, shook his head, and said to a Navy man next to him, Lieutenant Malone, follow this kid and don't let him mess around. Malone smiled, patted Khan on the shoulder and said, Don't worry, this kid is our treasure, and we won't let anything happen to him. Harry smiled and said nothing more. Khan's ability can save lives. Everyone is willing to protect Khan, so that they have a higher chance of surviving on the battlefield. After everyone chatted for a few words, he quickly followed Akainu. More than 10 minutes later, the pirates on the island seemed to have discovered them. Suddenly, the island became brightly lit. Akainu was not polite and launched meteor volcano towards the place where there was fire. Don Magma. Suddenly there was an exclamation from the front. Hey, the red dog is coming. Everyone, please retreat. Who exposed us? If I find out, I will kill them. The wind is pulling hard. Run quickly. When the pirates saw the lava in the sky, they shouted and ran away. The direction in which they fled. That's the direction of the coast. Because pirates all know that the best way to avoid a kainu's pursuit is to jump into the sea. Fight with a kainu on the shore. It's no different than sending yourself to death. The pirates escape. The navy gave chase. Harry's force was divided into five teams and began to hunt down the pirates. Khan follows Harry, watching as a group of pirates catch up. Chased for two minutes. They caught up with some pirates. Shootout. Officially begin. Khan followed Harry, looked at Harry, and shot a minion severely. He followed Harry. He also shot and killed several pirates. Kill. Khan was calm. During this period, the number of pirates he threw into the sea was almost over 200. Just started throwing it away. He still has some mood swings. Just now. It's like throwing away trash. After defeating some pirates, Harry led his people to chase other pirates, while Khan stayed behind to seal the seriously injured ones. 
Then. Then I went after Harry. It's all guilt value, it can't be wasted. Following Harry, Khan picked up many pirates along the way. While picking up pirates, he also encountered a sneak attack. The pirate was almost dead and he shot him. Fortunately. Khan needs to be predictable. Coupled with his strength, he was almost as strong as a warrant officer. He could easily dodge bullets, so he didn't suffer much damage. I chased him for about 10 minutes. He stopped. Harry met a master in front of him, and the two were fighting fiercely. That pirate. Use a 1.6 meter large knife. Blocked all Harry's bullets. Moreover, with one strike of his knife, a big hole could be made in the ground. The other party's culpability. Yes, he is taller than the person sealed by Khan. If he can be caught, he can practice for three days and three nights with ten times the experience. Master. Come on. Get him. Khan was in the distance, secretly cheering Harry on. You fool, don't run away if you can. I will chop you alive today. The pirate who fights Harry. Seeing Harry running around shooting long-range shots, he angrily cursed at Harry. And Harry. Naturally, he will ignore the other party. As a gunman, it would be a fool to engage in close combat with others. Khan watched for a while. I feel that it will be difficult for Harry to tell the winner in a short period of time. So he ran to other places first and collected the injured pirates who were not dead. When he encountered the injured navy, he also collected them first. Run around in the forest for a while. There were more than 100 people in Khan's sealed space, most of them were pirates, and a small number were the navy who were seriously injured. Search for a while. When he couldn't find anyone who could seal it, he ran back to Harry to see the situation. At this time, Harry's opponent has been seriously injured. There are many bullet holes all over the body. But the opponent still held on and fought with Harry. But, 10 minutes at most, he is about to fall. So Khan waited nearby. Soon, Harry's opponent was shot three more times by Harry. He lost so much blood that he couldn't hold the knife safely and fell to the ground. Then Harry shot and broke his limbs. Remove the opponent's threat. Harry walked up to the pirate, picked up the pirate's sword, knocked the pirate unconscious, and then said to the back, Okay, you kid, come out quickly. Khan jumped out immediately. Pityan Pityan ran to collect the pirate. Received people. Khan asked Harry. This guy doesn't seem to be from the Blackbird Pirates. Harry nodded. He is the Manslayer Demon Basin. He is a lone guy with a bounty of 6,300 million. This time, the Blackbird Pirates are planning some action. They have gathered a group of pirates here to prepare what they want to do. Matter. Killer Demon. No wonder the guilt value is so high. While Khan was thinking, Harry walked towards the coast. Hurry up and go to the coast to help. Someone just reported that the captain of the Iron Arm Pirates and the captain of the Blackbird Pirates had a fight with Vice Admiral Akainu on the coast. Quote dot. Two captains. The guilt value must be very high. Khan immediately became interested and followed Harry, asking as he walked, the bounties on those two guys should be relatively high, right? Harry nodded. You also know about Blackbird's bounty. The Iron Arm has a bounty of 7,900 million. The two of them combined are pretty good. The reward for Blackbird is 1 million, which Khan already knows. Iron Arm has 7,900 million. It's pretty good. Among the supernovas 20 years from now, those at the bottom will probably have this bounty. Khan thought for a while and curled his lips. A mere 7,900 million bounty is not enough in front of Akainu-sama. I think they have already failed us. Harry smiled. That's true, but the two guys are still pretty good. If they join forces, it's probably still possible to escape. Khan nodded slightly. The Akainu of today is not the Akainu of 20 years later. The two pirates may not be able to defeat Akainu, but if they run away, it is still possible. Khan, Harry, ran all the way to the coast. When they arrived, they saw the navy cleaning up the mess. Akainu, standing on the shore with a cigarette in his mouth and smoking. There was an unconscious guy under his feet. Behind. There was also a guy with half his head missing. As expected of Akainu. It's really fierce. But it's a pity that he lost half of his head, the guilt value is just gone. That could be tens of thousands of sin points. When Harry saw that the battle was over, he ran to the marines to help and get rid of those who were still resisting. As for Khan, he ran up to Akainu and saluted. 
Lord Akainu, leave him to me. Akainu didn't say anything, he just loosened his foot. Khan quickly collected the people and gained some sin points. But, people are indeed different. High strength does not mean high sin value. For example, the manslayer demon Bazin is not as powerful as the captain of the Blackbird Pirates, but his sin value is much higher than that of the Blackbirds. Received people. Khan saw that Akainu had no intention of speaking. Just ran back. Put away all the captured pirates so that the navy soldiers don't need to look after the pirates and can be free to help others. Almost all the people have been collected. He pulled out both guns and joined in to help. A busy time. The pirates died, those who were caught were caught, and the battle slowly ended. After Harry quits the fight, Khan stopped fighting and went to find the pirates who were still alive to collect them. This is it. His 365 sealed spaces. It's almost filled up. This made him feel extremely happy. Especially if there are several whose crime value exceeds, they will all be the targets of trial, and his combat experience will be greatly improved by then. After Khan collected the people. Just follow Harry and the others along the coast and back to the warship. As for Akainu. Before the battle is over. He had already left early. There are still a large number of pirates in the forest on the island, but Akainu, Harry, and the marines are not chasing them. After all, they are all just minions. Only Khan. I feel very sorry. Those are all sin values, it's such a waste. Although their culpability is not high, they can add up to tens of thousands. What a pity. Khan followed everyone back to the warship. Then, they got busy. Therapy for therapy, rest for rest. Khan also released the injured marines for treatment. It cannot be cured. He is being collected and sent to Navy headquarters for treatment. After being busy until 3 or 4 in the morning, everyone finally settled down, and the warship set sail, heading towards the windless zone of the Grand Route. After the warship sets off, Khan finally relaxed. When he was preparing to train and judge those pirates, Harry came to Khan and said, Boy, come with me, I want to tell you something. Something's wrong with Harry. Khan followed him to the stern of the ship. After stopping at the stern of the ship, Harry looked at Khan and said, We will return to the Navy headquarters in three days. By then you may have to train at the headquarters. You follow me to practice marksmanship in the past two days, and I will teach you what I can do. I'll teach you everything. Khan was very moved. Harry was so kind to him. He must be locked up in the future and let him face trial for his crimes. He believed Harry would survive the trial. Harry's strength will increase by then. When Khan was secretly thinking about helping his master, Harry patted Khan on the shoulder and said, go and have a rest first. We will officially start practicing until noon. Khan nodded. He followed Harry back to the cabin to rest. Because he had to practice Harry's spear skills, Khan would lie down and rest. This sleep. Slept until noon. He didn't get up until Harry woke him up. Then, Harry took Khan to the stern of the ship to practice his spear skills. Because he only had two days to practice, Harlan did not teach Khan formal training. He just told Khan all his gun skills. Also, just teach one thing. His experience in training physical skills. During the teaching and learning process, the warship passed through the windless zone of the Western Sea and entered the waters of the New World. Then they abandoned the warship and passed through the Red Earth continent to the Shambord Islands and finally to the Navy headquarters. This way, Khan wanted to see the place where the Celestial Dragons lived on the Red Earth continent. Unfortunately, Akainu and them didn't stay much, and went straight through the Red Earth continent. He only saw the place where the Celestial Dragons lived from a distance. After landing on the Red Earth continent. It's the same thing when we get to the Shambord Islands. The headquarters ship was already waiting to greet them. He only glanced at the Shambord Islands from a distance and had no chance to visit the Shambord Islands. Navy headquarters. Marshal Warring States is sitting and resting in the office. Last year. Something Roger caused. Let Cyborg Kong step down from the position of Marshal and let him take the position of Marshal. Originally he was a general. There aren't too many things to manage, so it's quite easy. Only after he became the marshal did he realize how hard it was to be in this position, and coupled with the wave of pirates caused by Roger, it was really tiring to death every day. Over the past year or so, his hair has turned a few gray, 
and he has finally suppressed the fiery wave of pirates, allowing the world to gradually stabilize. He is planning to spend another year. Once the four seas are completely pacified, they will begin to rectify the pirates in the Grand Line and the New World, and this will require a large number of masters to suppress the pirates wherever they are. Akainu's side. After sending Khan's information, warring states had some interest in Khan. After investigating Khan's identity and finding no problems, he asked Akainu to send Khan back, and then asked Khan about his specific abilities. If you can really pass the ceiling pirate. Gaining fast training experience, this devil fruit is a very powerful devil fruit. He can throw all the pirates captured by the navy to Khan to seal, allowing Khan's strength to increase in a short time. Such. One year later. They dealt with the pirates of the Grand Line. Just one more helper that can be used. While Marshal Warring States was thinking, he, who was standing by the window, said, Sakaski and the others are back, do you want to go and see them? Warring States came to his senses and asked he, are the medical teams ready? He smiled. Don't you worry about me doing things. I'm already waiting at the port. Warring States nodded, smiled and said, that little guy's ability to save people is quite good. It's a pity to use it in the future to help us save people. He smiled. It's such a waste to use his ability to save people. Warring States nodded, did not mention this matter, changed the subject and said, Wait here, I will arrange someone to test the boy's specific abilities in the afternoon. Crane nodded. No words were spoken. Navy headquarters. Port. Khan was at the bow of the ship, looking at the majestic naval headquarters in front of him with some emotion. This is the design. It is at least a 5A level attraction on Earth. Go away, boy. It depends, there will be plenty of time in the future. When Khan was sighing, Harry called Khan. Khan came to his senses. He followed Harry off the boat. As soon as the two of them disembarked and arrived at the port, a Navy man wearing medical team uniform came to Harry and saluted. Rear Admiral Harry, we are here to pick up the injured. Harry nodded and glanced at Khan. Let all our people come out. Khan nodded. Put nine seriously injured Marines on the ground. A group of military doctors rushed over and carried the nine people away for treatment. After Harry saw them leaving, he pulled Khan and said, Let's go quickly, the marshal is still waiting for us, you boy, be respectful when the time comes. Khan looked back and around. Akainu-sama, why didn't you see it? Harry pulled Khan and said as he walked, the lieutenant general had already left when you were looking at the headquarters building. He has probably gone to the marshal now. You move quickly. Oh. Khan nodded. Followed Harry into the navy headquarters. Khan was still a little excited about the navy headquarters. He was walking. Look to the right as you walk. In the end, he was taught a few words by Harry before he speeded up. Ten minutes later, they arrived in front of the headquarters building. To here. Khan finally got serious. Sengoku is a wise general, unlike Akainu. If he shows some flaws, it is very likely that Sengoku will find out that there is something wrong with him. Not to mention, there is also a crane beside Sengoku. That's not someone who's easy to fool. On the way to the headquarters, he had thought of many ways to deal with warring states. In the end, he found that they all had flaws, so he finally decided to tell the truth, but said less things when telling the truth. For example, he is not afraid of water. You can't talk about this. Also, the crime trial can be said to make the Sengoku take him more seriously. Such. He can get more benefits. Thinking. Khan followed Harry and entered the building. In the headquarters building. The number of staff is quite large. At this time, Khan became more interested and looked at the staff. Watched for a while. He felt it was boring. These staff members in the headquarters are all civilians, and their culpability is not even comparable to that of ordinary pirates. He is too lazy to catch their culpability. Those navies at the port just now. The guilt value is quite high. He is still a little interested in those navies. He followed Harry shaking his head, to the door of the marshal's office. The office of the warring states marshal. The door is open. Harry stopped at the door and shouted, Marshal, Khan is here. In the office, warring states looked at Khan and found that Khan looked at him with an expression that seemed a little disappointed. This situation, let warring states become a little curious. Others are either afraid or respectful when they see him. This Khan, I was actually disappointed to see him. 
What a strange brat this time. After thinking about it, Warring States smiled and said to Harry, Harry, go and do your business. Your disciple will be left to me. I will take good care of him. Harry nodded. He raised his hand and punched Khan in the head. You brat, have you forgotten what I just told you? Be respectful to the marshal. I'll leave as soon as I have something to do. Harry gave Khan a lesson. Just salute Sengoku and leave. Khan touched his head and woke up. After entering the door, he saluted Warring States. Hello, Marshal. Warring States looked at Khan, smiled and said, You seemed very disappointed when you saw me just now. Is there anything about me that dissatisfies you? Khan secretly thought that his disappointment was because Sengoku's guilt value was pitifully low compared to Akainu, and Sengoku's guilt value was less than 20. But, these words, can't say. After thinking for a while, he coughed and said, can I really say this? Warring states smiled slightly, just tell me, I won't care. Then I'll say it. Khan coughed dryly and said, the marshal is too kind. In my heart, I think the marshal should be as domineering as a kainu. The warring states period was speechless. For a moment he didn't know what to say. I can only sigh in my heart, I am indeed a fan of a kainu. Be silent for a while. Warring states shook his head and pointed to the seat on one side and said, Okay, sit down and talk. Khan is welcome. Walk over and sit down. His calm attitude made everyone in the warring states period secretly marvel. Warring states looked at Khan who looked at him calmly for a while, and finally got down to business. Khan, Sakuski has already reported your abilities to me, but you still want to hear your specific abilities in person. Khan nodded. With the help of Lord Akainu, I also experimented with many pirates, and now I have a little bit of moral integrity. Warring states became interested. Let me tell you in detail. Khan nodded. How do you put it? My ability is that the stronger my physique is, the more people I conceal. Now I conceal more than 300 people. I can also use the sealed people to help me speed up my cultivation. But I have captured so many pirates and I have also discovered a secret. That is, it is not that the stronger the pirates are, the more they can help me practice, but. Khan said, glancing at Sengoku hesitantly. Seeing this, Warring States simply said, just tell me. Khan nodded, this is also my guess. I feel that the more evil pirates do, the more beneficial it is to my cultivation. It is not based on strength. For example, in the past few days, Lord Akainu has captured the Manslayer Demon Basin and is it the captain of the Blackbird Pirates. I feel that the Manslayer Basin has a better effect on increasing my training, but the captain of the Blackbird Pirates is a little bit worse. After listening to Khan's words, Sengoku pondered for a moment and said, It seems that your Devil Fruit ability is a unique fruit ability. If you want to become stronger, you have to catch bad guys. This time you were really born with the ability to be a navy. Quote dot. Upon hearing this, Khan immediately said, I think so too. Maybe God sent me to destroy the pirates, so that devil fruit floated in front of me. Warring states thought secretly. If Khan's ability is really what he said. It's really possible. God sent Khan to destroy the pirates. I have heard before that devil fruits will also automatically find a suitable host for themselves. Now Khan's situation should be that devil fruits choose their hosts. After thinking for a while, warring states asked Khan, is this all your fruit power? Khan hesitated and said, there should be other abilities, but I haven't developed them enough. Recently, I always feel that there is another ability fluctuating in my mind, but I can't figure out what it is for a while. Maybe I have to wait. Only if I improve my strength can I have a clearer sense. Sengoku looked at Khan and thought. His hand unconsciously touched the head of a goat next to him. Marshal. Marshal Sengoku remained silent, so Khan asked. Hem. Marshal Warring States woke up, hummed and said to Khan, does the bounty prisoner sealed in your body still have any effect? The bounty prisoner inside Khan. All the sin points have been cleared by him. He also tried Blackbird and Bazin, and got some swordsmanship and physical skills experience from them, which was quite a harvest. When he heard what Warring States said, he said directly, it's useless, they can't help me practice anymore. Warring States nodded. Since they are useless, someone will come to you later to take them away. In addition, they will provide you with 10 criminals for you to use. 
In the afternoon, you will use them to practice, and there will be special people to test you. Your cultivation situation and see what effect those criminals have on your cultivation. Khan stood up and saluted Warring States. Yes, Marshal. Warring States glanced at Khan, picked up the phone on the table and dialed, then said, send someone over to pick Khan up and test his abilities as planned in the afternoon. Yes. There was a call back and then hung up. Warring States hung up the phone and said to Khan, someone will arrange your affairs. Just follow them this afternoon. If anything happens, I will send someone to find you. Yes, Khan saluted. After a while, a middle-aged man came to the door and saluted Warring States. After Zeng Guo nodded to the other party, he said to Khan, you should leave with him. It is good. Khan agreed. Follow the middle-aged man and leave. Some distance outside the office, Khan asked the middle-aged man, my lord, are you? The middle-aged man smiled and said as he walked, Khan, right. Just call me Jemu. Khan nodded. Mr. Jemu, where are we going now? Jemu said as he walked, go to the temporary prison first and release the criminals you sealed. There are still 10 criminals in the prison for you to seal. Then I will take you to lunch, arrange a place for you to stay, and go to the training ground at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. There will be someone there to record your training. Jemu explained the process very clearly. Khan stopped asking. He is now somewhat hopeful that those 10 criminals can provide him with instant guilt points. Khan thought to himself. I followed Jemu to a basement. They passed through three guarded gates, entered a prison, and finally stopped at the door of a cell guarded by a dozen marines. After stopping, Jemu told Khan, let the people out one by one. Khan looked at the marines around him. They all held handcuffs and were ready for action. Then, he takes people. They were released one by one. He puts one. The Navy just cuffed one of them. Soon, Khan's sealed space will be cleared. The Navy also cuffed the pirates and threw them into the cells. As for the pirates, there was no struggle either. Because they were not awake at all, or they were already dying. Let the pirates go. Jemu said to Khan, come with me and go to another place to recruit people. Khan hurriedly followed. They turned two corners in the cell and came to the door of another room. Jemu stopped at the door of the cell, pointed to the inside of the cell and said, there are two here, do you want me to knock them unconscious, or do it yourself? Khan looked into the cell. There were two people chained inside, which didn't look like a good thing. Their sin points are 8,636 points respectively, which are pretty good. Khan was looking at the two pirates. One of the two pirates stared at Khan and said, what are you looking at, kid? When Khan heard this, he immediately became unhappy. He glared back at the guy who spoke, you're so fooling arrogant. I'll see if I can't kill you later. The pirate scolded by Khan. He was very angry and kept struggling, making the chain rattle as he pulled it. Khan was too lazy to pay attention to the other party, and directly asked Jemu, can I kill them? Jemu was speechless, feeling that Khan is worthy of being a fan of Akainu. He wants to kill people at every turn. What a cruel and ruthless person. Feel a little emotional. Jemu coughed and said, it's up to me to do it. You just need to collect them. When they are no longer useful, they will be sent to the underwater prison. Khan curled his lips and said nothing. Jemu didn't waste any time and asked the sailor to open the cell door. After entering, he punched the two pirates and knocked them unconscious. Khan saw it, somewhat surprised, because the top of Jemu's fist just now was black. It was armed and domineering, and it was very strong. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to knock out these two fierce guys with one punch. Be surprised for a moment. Khan ran into the cell. The two criminals were sealed. Seal the two. Jemu didn't waste any time either. Taking Khan with him, he went to other cells and sealed eight more prisoners. Most of the prisoners prepared by the Warring States period for Khan had crime values between 6,000 and 3,000, and they should be the kind of guys selected with a bounty of about million. Sin values are different. Just because some are more ferocious and some are more peaceful. Ten people were admitted. Khan followed Jemu out of the prison, went to the headquarters cafeteria and had lunch together, and then sent Khan to the residential area. A small single room in the building was arranged for Khan to live temporarily, and he was also allowed to rest in the room and wait for someone to call him. After Jemu left, Khan was in the room, lying down to rest. 
he was thinking about whether there would be any flaws in his meeting with warring states today. I thought about it for a while. He found that he had left no flaws. The only flaw that warranted Sengoku's suspicion was that he had already vaccinated Sengoku. As long as his strength increased in the future, this flaw would disappear. This flaw. The guy who was being judged by him. You will be very scared when you see him. If warring states found out about this, he would definitely be suspicious of him. But. He has already told warring states. He felt like he had new abilities. If warring states asks then, he will say that it is the new ability torture that he is about to develop, as long as he does not say that he can absorb other people's training experience. Of course. This is because he is too weak now. That's why we need to explain to warring states. If he had the strength of a lieutenant general, there would be no need to explain at all. It's the warring states, period, suspicion. As long as he was fighting pirates, Sengoku wouldn't ask. Warring states is a smart man and will not force a strong man to reveal his secrets. After all, that strong one, there is no secret. It's just that Garp doesn't have a big secret like raising Roger's son. In the room, after lying down for a while, Khan flipped through the Book of Sin and looked at them. Judge them. Not quite right yet. Wait until he completes the Sengoku test. When they start to actually receive training, they will be judged slowly. Thinking about it randomly. Time passed slowly. At around 13.40, someone knocked on the door. Khan, I was sent by the marshal to pick you up. I heard someone coming to pick me up. He got up and hurried out the door. Doorway. Just a small soldier. After saluting Khan, he said, please follow me. Khan nodded. I followed Xiaobing all the way to a small training ground. In the training ground, no one is training. There were a few staff on the sidelines, fiddling with some machines. When Khan entered the training ground, a staff member came to Khan, handed Khan four strange sleeves and said, take these things, one for each hand and feet, and wear them on the thighs and upper arms. At this thing can check the changes in various physical qualities when you practice, so you can understand how much your practice speed has increased during training. Khan heard it. Somewhat emotional. As expected of the Navy headquarters. All these high-tech things are available. Feeling emotional. He brought the things with him. When Khan was dressed, the staff said, Now you can start training normally. Each training session lasts half an hour. We will monitor the situation. Talking. The staff handed Khan another piece of information, here are the conditions of those prisoners. When you use them to practice, please tell us first. Khan took the information and looked at it. Really? Just as he thought. They are all prisoners with a bounty of around 3,000 million. The lowest reward is 2,350 million, and the highest reward is 4,100 million, both are about the same. Read the information. Khan also understood the specific goal of this test. It just depends on who he trains with, which increases his training speed the most. In this case, he knew it well. When training later, use 1 to 3 times the training speed when training with people with low sin values, and use 3 to 5 times the training speed when training with people with relatively high sin values. Such. Even if it fulfills what he said to warring states. He told warring states that bad people could help him practice faster. You can prove it now. As for the cultivation speed of more than five times, it cannot be used now. Because the strength of the ten people was too low, unless warring states got him a few with a sin value of more than twenty, he would show him ten times the speed of cultivation. Think clearly. Khan returned the information to the staff and said, then let's start with the Cherokee. The staff member took the information, nodded and said, okay, let's start training. Khan nodded. Use twice the training speed. Start threatening the training ground and running. 10 minutes of jogging. Do push-ups on the spot for 10 minutes. I practiced a basic set of boxing techniques for 10 minutes. Half an hour later. He told the staff that if the prisoners were changed, he would continue training at three times the training speed. The training items would be the same as before. This is guaranteed. The instrument check results are correct. 10 prisoners. It takes 5 hours to practice. Intermediate. Khan also rested for half an hour. By the time his test was over, it was already around 8 o'clock in the evening. Test completed. Khan went to the side of the training ground and asked the staff, is the test over? I'm going to eat. I haven't eaten anything all afternoon. 
The staff member glanced at Khan and nodded. Okay, you can go back and rest. We will tell the marshal the test results, and the marshal will look for you. Khan nodded. Turn around and leave gracefully. The Navy headquarters is a small town. There are also shops, pubs, restaurants and other things found in towns. Khan leaves the training ground. I went to a restaurant and ordered something to eat. Office of the Warring States Marshal. While eating in Khan. Sengoku received Khan's training test results. After looking at it for a while, he handed it to Hee Hee and said, the situation is similar to what he said. Those prisoners can indeed help him increase his cultivation speed, but he still concealed one thing. His physical strength will not be consumed at all during cultivation. This may be it's also the ability brought by the devil fruit. After he took the information and looked at it, he said with a smile, it seems that is indeed the case, but what he concealed is not a big deal. Maybe he didn't care about it himself. After all, he only practiced basic training, not no matter how intense the training is, he may not even realize that he has unlimited physical strength. Warring states nodded slightly and smiled. That's true. Now that this kid's ability has been determined, we have to formulate the most rigorous training plan for him. It is best to let him reach the level of a lieutenant general in our headquarters before next year. He returned the information to warring states and said, his character is not that stable. Isn't it not good to let him lead troops alone after one year of training? Warring states rubbed his head and said, I know, but we are short of people now. When he succeeds in cultivation, just let him act alone. Anyway, in order to improve his strength, he will never be lazy in catching pirates. He smiled. That's right, his devil fruit was born to catch criminals. If we don't care about him, he will work hard. Sengoku shook his head and sighed. The abilities of devil fruit are really weird. After some emotion, warring states looked at he and said, I will make a strict training plan for him in the past two days. You go and contact the undersea prison and ask them to select the most vicious guys and train them for Khan. Quote dot. He glanced at Sengoku and asked, where's the one on the sixth floor? Sixth floor. Warring states hesitated for a moment and shook his head. It's better not to touch them. Those guys are too cruel. If one of them escapes, it will be a big trouble. Let's select cultivation resources from the first to fifth floors. He nodded. Okay, I will arrange it. Warring states looked at the information on the table, smiled and said, I didn't expect to find a good seedling. I hope he will live up to our expectations. He said calmly, probably not. His hatred for pirates is probably not fake. There are almost more than 300 pirates who have died at his hands. Besides, he is a betrayer and will go for strength. If a pirate catcher has this kind of fruit ability, he is destined to be a different person from pirates in his life. Warring states nodded. He also thought of the ability of this special fruit. I just feel that Khan deserves to be well cultivated. As for betrayal, he thinks the probability is very low. Because Khan is willing to save the injured Navy, it shows that he still has a sense of right and wrong. The Navy has trained him, and he will also miss the old feelings in his heart. After thinking about it for a while, Warring states. I put away Khan's test materials and began to think about how to train Khan. Crane saw this. Just leave and do your own thing. In the restaurant. Khan is eating. Harry suddenly came and sat down next to Khan. Boy, is the test over. Khan looked at Harry and asked curiously. Master, why don't you go to rest so late? Harry smiled. How can we have such leisure as you? We have to set off again tomorrow. The sea is not calm and we have no time to rest. Khan's expression suddenly sighed. What a pity. I think I should continue going out with you. Those pirates are so wasteful. Harry gave Khan a roll of his eyes. Boy, do you still lack pirates for you to train in this headquarters? Khan pouted. There is no shortage of pirates, but the marshal probably won't let me kill them. I feel bad if he won't let me kill that kind of scum. Hear what Khan said. Harry patted Khan on the shoulder. Practice hard. I think the warring states marshal will reuse you. When your training is over, you will have many opportunities to catch pirates. Khan put the food down, shook his head and sighed. Even with the training speed bonus, it's difficult to be alone. I don't think I can figure it out in a year or two. After all, my training talent is not very good. 
maybe a genius like Akainu-sama who doesn't have the ability to speed up his training would have about the same speed as me who has the ability to speed up his training. Harry was speechless. Indeed. Someone as talented as Akainu. My cultivation speed has been very fast since I was a child. Khan just has fruitful abilities. If his talent is not good, he may reach a bottleneck quickly. If he cannot improve by then, he will be at the level of a lieutenant general for the rest of his life. Be quiet for a while. Harry patted Khan on the shoulder. Okay, you kid, don't sigh here. If we can have the level of lieutenant general, it is already very good. Look at our navy headquarters, there are only more than 200 lieutenant generals. If you become a lieutenant general, you will be considered a senior member of the navy. Khan curled his lips. Lieutenant general, senior management, I think they are just cannon fodder. If you want to do something, you have to be a general. What's the point of being a lieutenant general? Harry gave Khan a slap on the head. You kid is still pretending to be a lieutenant general, and you still look down on the lieutenant general. Lieutenant General Akainu is also a lieutenant general now, don't you look down on him. Khan's face straightened. That's different. Akainu-sama's strength is already at the level of a general, but he doesn't have the rank of a general. I think in a year at most, Akainu-sama will be a general. You're a kid who flatters Lieutenant General Akainu, Harry complained to Khan. He stood up and said, I don't care about you anymore. I have to go back first. Just accept the training well. I'll wait for you to leave the training camp. Graduation inside. See Harry leaving. Khan also paid the bill and left with Harry. He followed Khan and chatted for a while on the way back to the residential area. He said goodbye at the last intersection and went back to his home to rest. After lying down to rest, Khan turned over the ten criminals. Finally, he didn't torture them. It's just a pirate with a bounty of 3,000 million. Their cultivation experience was of little use to him. There is no need for this experience. The ability to expose sinful torture. Once he enters the naval training camp for a while, it won't matter if he is exposed. By then, Sengoku will only win over him and not cause him any trouble. I thought about it for a while. He was satisfied and closed his eyes to rest. The next day, Khan to the port, send Akainu, Harry and the others away. Then, he has been training at the training ground all day. Next two days, he was just like the first day, training non-stop. On the morning of the fourth day, as soon as he got up, a soldier knocked on the door. Khan, the marshal wants you to pass. Khan heard it. Get up quickly and clean up. He followed the navy who was looking for him to Sengoku's office. Just come in. He saw that Crane was also inside. So he quickly saluted. Hello, marshal, and general he. Warring states glanced at Khan and waved to Khan. We have already arranged your boy's training plan. Now you can officially start training. Khan was stunned and looked at warring states in confusion. Well, Marshal, I heard from Master that I might go to General Zephyr's training camp to train. How can I listen to Marshal? I want to stay here to train at the headquarters. Warring states said calmly, you have special abilities. I need to send prisoners to you frequently. Zephyr is too far away. Frequently sending criminals to you is likely to cause problems. I am going to send you to the underwater prison for training. Where is it more convenient? Undersea prison. Khan's eyes suddenly lit up. I couldn't help but laugh out loud from the corners of my mouth. The prison under the sea, where criminals gather, is a holy place for cultivation for him. If all the strong men in the undersea prison were tortured, his training experience could surpass that of the warring states period, and he might even become a general. Warring states looked at the excited Khan, coughed and said, let's take a look at your training plan first. If you can't complete the training plan I specified, then I will transfer you back from the underwater prison. Khan came to his senses. He looked at the information in front of Sengoku. He didn't hesitate either. Went over and had a look. The more I look, his face becomes darker. The warring states period simply didn't treat him as a human being, and this training plan was just to tire him to death. His day. In addition to eating and sleeping for a total of 5 hours, the rest of the time is high-intensity training, and the intensity of training will increase as his strength increases. Like his practice some time ago. Compared with the training plan formulated by the Warring States period, there is a gap between kindergarten and college. Finish reading the training plan. 
Khan glanced at Warring States. Marshal, do you want to kill me? Warring States said calmly. When you train with prisoners, you won't use up your physical strength at all. I don't think there is any problem with this training. Don't you want to go out to sea to catch pirates as soon as possible? As long as you can survive this year of training, I will make an exception. Promote you to Major General and let you go out to sea to catch pirates freely. Unexpected. My cultivation does not consume any physical energy. He knew this better than the Warring States period. He was still a little careless in yesterday's test training. He should not practice sin points for a period of time, which will allow his physical strength to drop a bit. But, look at the meaning of the Warring States period. It seems that he is not prepared to care. He felt more relaxed. Khan thought about it secretly and saluted Warring States seriously. As long as I can become stronger, please Marshal, risk your life to train me, I will have absolutely no complaints. Warring States glanced at Khan with satisfaction and said, Yes, I'm not polite. Tomorrow there will be a special person to take you to the underwater prison to practice. Then you will follow their arrangements. They are professional trainers. Yes. After Khan agreed, he coughed and looked at Warring States and asked, Marshal, is it okay if I accidentally kill some pirates while practicing? Warring States glared at Khan. You are going to train. The life and death of pirates will be judged by others. Don't worry about it. Go back and rest. Khan sighed helplessly. Salute Sengoku and he and leave. As soon as he leaves. Warring States looked at the crane and asked, What do you think? He thought for a while and said, Based on my observations these days, he has a relatively cheerful personality. He is not a bad person, but he is a little obsessed with killing pirates. It should be caused by seeing his parents killed by pirates when he was a child. Warring States thought for a while and sighed, as long as he is not a bad character, he is worth training. The Navy is short of people everywhere now. Let him practice tomorrow. I hope he can achieve something. Crane nodded in agreement. Leave the Warring States office. Khan stopped training. He will enter hellish training tomorrow and won't have any free time to rest. Take a walk around the Navy headquarters. He didn't see anyone who looked familiar. Look. Those famous guys. Now they are just some little minions. He didn't even come to the Navy headquarters. The people who are the same age as him now should be the guys of the same age as Smoker and Tina, and they are still ordinary Marines receiving training. As for the Blue Pheasant and the Yellow Ape. Now Kazaru has been promoted to General, and Aokiji is also a Lieutenant General like Akainu. In short. At Navy Headquarters. I haven't met any of the characters in the plot, they are all new faces. Sengoku, Suru, and Akainu do not count. After walking around the headquarters all day, Khan had dinner and returned home to rest. Lying in bed. He was thinking about going to the underwater prison tomorrow. That was very exciting. That Sengoku guy won't let him mess around. But. He won't listen. He must win the crime value of the underwater prison. Only. You must first be patient and patient. Now that he is too weak, Sengoku will definitely find him trouble if he causes trouble. Wait until he has the strength of a lieutenant general. As long as the trouble he caused wasn't big enough, there would be no problem. Warring states will not trouble him for a trivial matter. Thinking. He is smiling. Entered dreamland. After one night. Eight in the morning. Khan arrived at the port and waited. Warring states informed him yesterday that he would be here waiting for his instructor to come over. He arrived at the port at 7.20. At 8.00, Sharp, a middle-aged man with a stern face came to Khan and said, Khan, right. I am your instructor Haishui. You will train with me for the next year until you can defeat me. Even if you graduate. This black water. At first glance, he looks like the kind of person who does things strictly. Because it was written all over his face that I was very strict. Khan looked at Blackwater and saluted. Hello, Instructor Blackwater, please give me your advice in the future. Haishui was very indifferent and walked towards the port. Let's go, we are leaving. Depend on. Pretty stinky. When I beat you, I will arrest you and torture you. Khan looked at Blackwater's sin value of more than 40 and thought very unhappily. A few words of complaint in secret. Khan followed Haishui and boarded the warship in the port. As soon as they boarded the ship, the warship immediately set off and headed towards the Gate of Justice. 
It only takes less than an hour and a half to go from the Navy headquarters to the undersea prison via the world government's dedicated passage. They don't have much time on the ship. Khan got on board. Just stand and rest at the bow of the boat. Arriving in front of the huge gate of justice, he couldn't help but sigh that the people who built this gate were really powerful. Such a heavy gate could not be erected manually. High probability. It was done by someone with a devil fruit ability. Feeling emotional. The warship entered the whirlpool current within the gate of justice. Enter the whirlpool current. The warship did not need to be controlled. It was carried along by the whirlpool current. In less than 50 minutes, they arrived at the door of another door of justice. After passing through the political gate, less than 1,000 meters ahead was the undersea prison. Khan could see the shape of the undersea prison from the bow of the ship. Out the door. Eight minutes later, they arrived at the entrance of the underwater prison. The warship stopped at the door, and Khan saw a familiar person in the plot this time, that is Magellan, the deputy director of the undersea prison and the possessor of poison fruit ability. Magellan now, still very young. When he saw Haishui getting off the boat, he said coldly, the marshal has already told me about your matters. Someone will arrange it for you. Don't come to me if you have nothing to do. Magellan's attitude. That's quite bad. After saying that, he turned around and left. The two men left in the prison took Blackwater and Khan through the door. Magellan had a bad attitude. Khan can understand. He probably doesn't like outsiders and uses the underwater prison as a training ground. Magellan, after all, he regards the underwater prison as his home. Others come to his home for training. If he is in a good mood, then there is something wrong with him. And so, Khan saw Magellan leaving. Didn't say anything. Following Haishui into the underwater prison, the two jailers took them to the door of a room, and one of them said to Haishui, Sir, this is where you will rest. We will deliver your food and drink expenses here on time. Say it. The jailer took out another key and handed it to Haishui, this is the key to the cells on the first to fifth floors. Now I leave it to you, sir, to keep for yourselves. Haishui took the key. He waved the two prison guards to leave. Then he looked at Khan and said, are the ten criminals you sealed enough for you to practice for one day? Khan shook his head. No, their energy has been exhausted by me. Haishui glanced at Khan and snorted coldly, your previous training was a waste of time. I will train you strictly in the future. If you take refuge, don't blame me for being ruthless. Khan smiled lightly. I have read the training plan, and I will not regret it if I agree. Haishui snorted coldly. I hope you will keep your word. I will never be lenient. Just go to the fifth floor and capture some pirates first to provide you with energy. Khan heard this. Immediately he became interested. Let's go then, I can't wait. Haishui didn't hesitate. Without even entering the lounge, Khan was taken directly to the fifth floor of the prison. On the road, Khan just looked at the environment casually. The development is similar to the plot, so there is no interest. Two people together. We arrived at the fifth level of ice hell. Blackwater found a few prisons with people alive, opened the door and knocked those guys unconscious, and then asked Khan to seal those guys. Khan this time. I was completely excited. The fifth floor of the undersea prison is indeed different. The average sin value is around 5, and the guy with the highest one actually has 246 million, which is the highest he has ever seen. Others cost tens of thousands and tens of thousands. It's all in piles. He followed Haishui with his mouth twisted into a crooked smile. As for who those pirates were, he had no interest in knowing them. He didn't know them anyway, and he didn't want to care who they were. He wants to seal them now. Then absorb the sin points from them. An hour and a half. Blackwater took Khan and took away one third of the prisoners on the fifth floor, finally filling Khan's sealed space completely. Said in Khan, when the seal is full. Haishui said to Khan unceremoniously, let's go then. The training has officially begun. Let's go to the fourth floor and run 100 laps first. Your speed must be maintained at 6 seconds 100 meters within 4 hours. Slow down a little bit. You won't be polite. Talking. Dark shadows flashed in the black sailors. A black whip appeared on his hand. He looked at Khan and said, this is the whip of pain. You won't be hurt if it hits you, but it will be very painful. I hope you don't let me whip you. Khan's expression twitched slightly. 
He looked at the black whip on black sailor and felt that it must have been made by the devil fruit. Either black water had eaten the devil fruit or the whip was fused with the devil fruit. Undersea prison. Four floors. Red lotus hell. The prisoners on this floor. I saw an inhumane and brutal scene today. That brutality. Let them work every day as if they were on vacation. The new prisoner who was whipped was really miserable, and the screams and curses made the prisoners feel a little frightened. Finally. They turned to face the wall. Just pretend you didn't see or hear the prisoner's miserable scream. Such a miserable person. Of course it's Khan. After he sealed the pirates and started training, there was still no problem. Anyway, training consumes no physical energy at all. And so, just the first hour, he was running so fast that he felt very calm. But, after running for more than an hour, his spirit became a little slack, so he ran a little slower, and then he was whipped by black water. That whip hurt to the bone. Khan screamed miserably as he ran faster. After that whip, he didn't dare to slack off and ran with all his strength. But his mental strength cannot be maintained forever. After all, he is just an ordinary person on earth, and it is difficult for him to concentrate completely for a long time. Then, he comes every 10 minutes or so. Everyone will be whipped by the black water. The pain made him run and scream, and cursed Haishui for being inhumane. Anyway, he cursed Haishui with every word he could think of. At last, he couldn't help it. Stop and fight Blackwater. As a result, he was beaten with black water, pressed to the ground and rubbed, and was whipped 100 times. That continuous shrill scream. It made his throat break from shouting. But Haishui wouldn't let him go at all, and still forced him to continue running. In the end, he could only get up and continue running until he had run for 4 hours. Next. Another full 8 hours of other training. During these 8 hours. He was whipped more than a hundred times. Finally. His throat was hoarse. He could only stare at the black water angrily and practice in frustration. Early morning. Khan's training is over. He returned to his resting place, lay down and fell asleep. At this time. He was not in the mood to think about how much his strength had improved, he just wanted to sleep. His body is not tired. But mentally it was very tiring. It was really the whip that caused it, it was so painful, it was like being cut into pieces by a thousand cuts. Rest for four hours. Khan was woken up by Blackwater's whip again. Khan, who was awake, stood up and glared at the Blackwater, now is my rest time. Haishui said unceremoniously, get up and train quickly, or I will beat you again. Khan is so angry. But thinking that he couldn't defeat Haishui, he could only get up and train with frustration. Cruel special training. The beginning of continuation. Khan couldn't beat the black water, so he could only be trained like torture. Two days later. Nine in the morning. Khan was still cursing and running. Sudden. The sweet voice comes to mind. Absorbing evil points reaches 100 million points. The pool of sins is opened. When a prisoner enters the pool of sins, his overall strength will be reduced according to the number of sin points. A prisoner with a sin value of zero cannot enter the pool of sins. The host can enter the pool of sins and use the pool of sins to extract the sin points in the prisoner's body to increase the physical strength, consuming 100 sin points every minute. Judgment of sin. Help him increase his training experience. Pool of sin. Help him increase physical strength. The two add up. It's just like lying down to increase your strength. But. Just don't know. Same sin value. The physical strength gained by soaking in the pool of sins was not as much as what he gained from practicing. Snapped. Oh, I'm so stupid. The upgrade of the book of sins made Khan think for a while. Result. The running speed slowed down. He was whipped again by that Haishui. Being woken up. Khan cursed and ran faster. In fact, he decided to wait until he had a rest at night to test the pool of sins. He first threw nine criminals into the pool of sins, allowing the pool of sins to absorb the sin value, so that he could conduct experiments at night. Pool of sin. It can accommodate nine people at a time. The prisoner he throws in loses 100 sin points every minute. And their strength. It is also declining at an extremely fast rate. Khan observed it for a while while training and then stopped taking care of it. He trained first. Under the whipping in the black water, I resisted until early in the morning and went back to my room to rest. Went back to the room. Khan lay down and couldn't wait to open a new page in the book of sin. 
The new page is the pool of sins. Khan looked at the word, enter, on the page and clicked, enter. Moment. Khan felt his body. I ran into a hot spring pool and it was very comfortable. Relax for a while. He woke up and felt the cultivation effect that the pool of sins brought to him. After feeling. He frowned slightly. This consumption of 100 sin points per minute does not increase his strength too much. It is not as much as the strength he gained under the training in black water. But. It will also increase his strength more than when he did basic training, which will be about doubled. Look. Can't lie down yet. It is better to accept the training of black water, and save more guilt. He cannot use the power of this pool of sins for the time being. Later, when you have more sin points and want to be lazy, you can use this. Tested by the pool of sin. Khan lost much interest for the time being. Although Haishui pumped him to death every day, it was undeniable that practicing under Haishui's supervision was the fastest way. This is also true. The reason why he persists. If he had only been beaten without increasing his strength, he would have found a way to escape long ago. Let go of the pool of sins. Khan's miserable training continued. As time passed, the prisoners and guards of the undersea prison all changed from their initial sympathy for Khan to their worship of Khan. Reasons to worship. It is they who can see that Khan's strength is increasing every day. Because Blackwater's training is becoming more and more rigorous day by day, and Khan is beaten less and less often, even fools know that Khan's strength is improving rapidly. Of course. Worship is worship. But no one wanted to be trained like Khan. Even Magellan and Shiliu came to see it, but they were unwilling to accept Khan's kind of training. It was too cruel and frightening, and it was not something that humans could bear. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.